Recreational Outrage. I noticed that. That's uh, sick. Yeah. Coming prepared like that? Yeah. <laughs> thanks for doing this, man. Gotta stay hydrated. Yeah. No, thanks for having me. Of course. <sighs> yeah, dude. Water is key. I don't like the stuff, but it is. <laughs> you don't like water? Oh, yeah. yeah. We've talked about it. He has, a fear. <laughs> he has a healthy fear of water. A healthy <laughs> fear of water. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm on top of it most of the time. Even today in the shower, I kind of freaked out. You freaked out today yeah, it was in just the like, shower. I, I kind of crumbled. I did. Oh, no. <laughs> I did mentally collapse for about two minutes. Really? <laughs> yeah, and then I was just like, you know, I use, <laughs> it's crazy how deep I can get in there in my head. I have one question real quick before we get too far. Yeah. Are we wanting to film this? I can't. Okay. The GoPro's gotten. That's fine. I'm dude, just making sure. It's, it's, I honestly think it almost exploded. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's getting were, some use. <laughs> with Chanel, we were recording with Chanel? Yeah. It, I guess, yeah, actually, it hasn't Damn. worked since then. That's crazy. <laughs> Damn. Is it just my headphones, or do I sound really light? Um, I think it's just your headphones. Right. You sound pretty loud to me. Yeah, yeah. do I? Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you sound pretty good over here. Good. That's all that matters, then. There you go, dog. I think it's just, oh, oh wow, yeah. That <laughs> wow. Hell yeah. Made a hell of a difference. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you guys got here right after the chaos ended next yeah. door. Did you see all that? I did. Well, I did only because I I turned right too soon and then had to go up around. <laughs> yeah. And so I had to, I just came down Mississippi and I saw the lights and I yeah. was like, oh shit, what's happening yeah. down here? But by the time I got back around they were and gone, down dude. to the street, they were gone. So. It's like a magic trick. Thank God. <laughs> no, they just heard there was like an important show going on. Yeah. Like, we very important. Here. They're making sure they cleared the neighborhood for me. <laughs> <laughs> the most important podcast in Denver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They dude. Just I've there's been chaotic nights with the neighbors lately. Yeah, what are yeah. they up to? Um, I don't know. Are they old people? We uh, that's a it's a it's a very varying age group over there. Yeah. Like I think it ranges from like five to like ninety five. Oh, so Whoa. it's like a whole family. Yeah, living yeah, there. Okay. generations it seems. Wow. But um, they had the other night cops like came in and swarmed and like. They went in with guns drawn. Holy shit. And then they were, like, running around the house. They were, like, looking through my backyard and shit like that. And then they closed up the neighborhood and, like, across the street and shit. And, like, it was chaos. You need to move. And then the other night I parked, and I just see one of them going, like, fuck you, fuck you. And they're, like, give us our phone. Give us our phone back. And uh, he just, like, took it in the air and smashed it. Wow. <laughs> just threw it? Yeah. Damn. He's, like, Sounds- you, you want this? Bam. And you just watched. And I was right there in the car. I couldn't. He was right there, dude. Wow. I got Damn. a front row seat. And that this has been Sounds just, intense. Yeah. And it's been calm. You, up could, until, you could sell tickets to that show. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a Jerry Springer episode in my driveway. It's so about this. Whoa. <laughs> Is this going to break, dude? Did it slouch down a little? Yeah. I know it was starting to break. Sketch. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the one that was breaking. I switched them. You switched them? That's <laughs> the broken one where Dylan usually sits. Just so you can feel less confident out. about himself. I'm not recording oh. it. Do you want to switch? You said you're not recording it? Uh, video at least. Oh, that's fine. I, I probably will switch now that I know. No, okay. So that's kind of sketch. Okay. I shift a lot, so I should probably switch. Okay. But uh, um, what was I going to say? What were we talking about before? I thought I was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the ice. We were talking about the neighbors, the intensity of his neighbors. neighbors. Oh, it's something about this time of year, honestly. Especially when you're a family dude. Like there's a lot of a lot of pressure to want to kill everybody. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, my roommate, one of them got stuck in Florida because of like the Southwest flights and shit. Oh damn. Yeah. So he was like stuck in Florida for five, six days when he's supposed to be there for two. Oh, so that's not what you want. No. You're stuck with your family. And then in no. that state. That's right. <laughs> we're going to do a quick uh, redecorating. Sorry yeah. I did that. I guess I threw you for a loop there, huh? It was a nice trick, dude. I know. <laughs> it's a good I, game to play on me. I punked you, dude. You punched me, dude. This is a favorite. <laughs> I, 
I kind of wish it would have broken. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, I mean, I'm not going to lie. That would have been funny. Would've I would have also felt bad for you because hopefully, you know, you didn't get hurt, but <laughs> it still would have been funny. <laughs> I mean, you would have recovered. It's, yeah. it's one of them recovered. things like uh, <laughs> anytime somebody falls out of a chair or breaks a chair, it, it's always funny. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't matter remember, who. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> doesn't matter the circumstances. Yeah. Where it is. <laughs> when no, it is. I, I remember in, uh, when I was in like a, I had been in kindergarten, but I was in nursery. I was in a, not nursery, whatever. It's a Sunday school. I was in Sunday school. Ooh. And I remember we just had this. Big lady that was our teacher, and she <laughs> she uh, sat down on a bench, and like immediately it broke, <laughs> <laughs> and we all laughed. Every single kid. I watched a kid get super glued to a chair, and that Ooh. was a good one. Oh, I like wow. that, where they put the super glue down, mm -hmm. and then just when he sat down, every thirty seconds, you're just laughing harder because you're like, oh <laughs> man, it's really getting dry. <laughs> it's really starting to stick. Yeah. Not getting out of that chair. <laughs> chair pranks. Oh, do you remember pulling them out when someone would start to sit? That's oh, yeah. A good I, was, one. I was trying to get my son with that the other day, but he kept, he kept looking. So. <laughs> I, did like, I, I don't trust my dad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's Lenny. up to some shady shit back here. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bad like place of fear when your dad is pranking you. Yeah. It's like the opposite of Bam Majera's life. True. You know, get each other, though. <laughs> he, he your son's going to start responding. Yeah. Oh, he does. He tries. To. <laughs> he tries to. I, I was never into pranks. I, I was for a while and then I pissed off a roommate and I was like, yeah, never again. I'll tell you, let's, let's, let's play a, a, our intro music and I'll tell you about the worst prank I ever did. <laughs> it was more, it wasn't really a prank. It was more revenge. Oh, but <laughs> I like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll you talk ready? about it, yeah. Why not? <laughs> Recreational outrage. Hello. Hey. My name is Dylan Cantor. My I'm co-host is here. Oh, damn it. Dude, we can not. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> we can't get this intro super smooth yet. We haven't. No, That's but okay. what if we, I feel like scripting it wouldn't be nah, natural. I don't want to script it. No, I'm terrible at reading. My name is Dylan Cancer. I'm Evan Fitzgerald. This is Recreational Outrage. Yeah. Yeah. What, apparently, you said earlier, the most important podcast in Denver? Yeah. Number <laughs> one. We have a great guest today. Very excited about it. He's got a, he's got, what is it, a 30 minute special on Dry Bar? Uh, yeah, minutes? about yeah, twenty five okay. minutes. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Dry yeah. bar, con and then I have an album out too. Okay, what's uh, your album called? It's called Strangers in My Basement. Straight hell yeah, I yeah, like that because I recorded it in front of strangers in my basement. In your basement, <laughs> okay, that's cool. Damn. And then, uh, it's like a whole theme. <laughs> hell yeah, and you you talk about it in the album. I, at I least. you're right up top. I, I brought yeah, <laughs> you addressed I, I addressed it? it right away. I don't remember it? if I put it in the in the album, but I addressed it right away at the show. Did you yeah. record it during COVID? Uh, no, nah, I mean, I guess kind of like, after, like, like it as it, yeah, like towards the end because oh, okay. I recorded it, uh, in August of 2021. Okay. What so, made you want to do it in your basement? Uh, just because then I had more control okay. over. Oh yeah. Like I had more control over. It's your getting, field. You well, yeah, field it advantage. is. It, well, exactly. You don't, you know, the people who were there, they were strangers, but they were like friends of other comics that were on the show okay. and stuff too. So there was a little bit of vetting with it. Yeah. So there was that. And then, yeah, just having a little more control with the, the situation. And I'd already been turning my basement into like a comedy club, like a showroom. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I was doing that pre- COVID. That's cool. Uh, and yeah. I did. Up in Loveland? Uh, no, oh. uh, up in uh, uh, St. Paul, Minnesota. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, is that where you're yeah. from? Well, that's where I moved from, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm originally from South Dakota, but okay. But we oh. don't need to talk about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. And then, uh, but yeah. <laughs> the Black Hills. Yeah. Well, that's the that's good side of the state. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that not where you're from? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to North Dakota, and I thought it was tight. And it was right uh, by Minnesota. It was oh, like, so you're over like by Fargo, probably. Exactly, yep. yeah. Fargo, Grand Moorhead. Forks. Grand Forks, yep. Dude. It's a little and further north. but We went to Bemidji. Yep. The home of the Minnesota. Blue Ox and all that. 
The blue the, ox. Wow, well, that's ox? one of the play. I mean, there's there's a several like places <laughs> in the upper Midwest that claim that the the uh, what's his name Bunyan uh, Paul Bunyan. Yes, <laughs> they claim to be the 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 original home of Paul Bunyan. It's like the uh, Wright brothers. There's where like, like multiple three. people claim. Yeah, like, this is our boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's like three or four different towns in like between Michigan, Wisconsin, and Minnesota that claim they all that. claim it. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you also host the podcast, The Art of Bombing? Yes, that's uh, correct. Yeah. I have the podcast, The Art of Bombing. Uh, yeah. I, I'd be offended about you saying the number, the, the only important podcast in Denver, <laughs> except I record in Loveland. I didn't, so. say, I, didn't, <laughs> hey, I didn't say the only important. I just said number one. <laughs> I think also you were told that, too, by somebody else, right? Was I? Yeah, that was like a message. Yeah. <laughs> Someone told me that. <laughs> Not my own ego. <laughs> Dan Bublitz, so hello, hello, hello. thank you for being here. Dude. I'm excited yeah, to be here. Thanks oh, for yeah. having me. I'm oh, glad. Yeah. Oh, damn it. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> that was there cool. we go. That was actually kind of cool. <laughs> that was almost a better intro, just yeah, rocking yeah. right in there. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> dude, my mom loved Wheel of Fortune. Dude, my, my grandpa loved Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. It's crazy yeah. that that show's still going. Yeah. yeah it's still with Pat, it's too, still right? With of course. Yeah. He's never going to die. Yeah. He's, he's, I think he's maybe he's a clone. He's fueled probably. by the wheel, dude. Yeah. Could, that could very well be. He's yeah. just a robot. Every yeah. time they spin hey, it, juice is a backup. I was just going to say that. I was like, he's a robot that gets charged when they spin the wheel. <laughs> he bankrupt and he powers down. <laughs> it is funny when he gets like cocky with the people. Yeah. When they like guess the obviously Starts wrong letter. Jokes. He's like, come on. Nope. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Vanna's just a hologram. <laughs> she so. does look like yeah, all of those like, remember in those like need for speed games you play in the arcade games? Remember those girls that would yeah. come out and like shake the flag ahead of time? Oh yeah. 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 Yep. Like, she uh, just looks like another any yeah, of those. For speed. Gran Turismo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I wasn't that big of an arcade guy, but I understood people who were. You you got them? Yeah. That's I, good. It I was. Fun. I was yeah. an arcade guy. Big arcade guy. Yeah, yeah. Dude, when they were, when they, I mean, I guess they're still around now. Now they're getting more popular because of barcades. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, it's like, Which, <laughs> I'm retro because yeah. I'm at the arcade. <laughs> I was at a barcade that the only price, like all the games just worked, the only price was to have a beer in front of you. That's cool. Oh, wow. That's Real cool. Yeah. All you have to do to play is drink. Yeah. <laughs> Sign me up. Right. I can do that. <laughs> My, uh, and I was just talking, because I've been like obsessed with Skyrim the last couple months. I can't put it down. And um, I was talking to my dad about video games. He was like, I was, he was saying he's never been into video games really, but his neighbor who we went to middle school with, he like had this five computer thing that they were working on in the 80s and it was Qbert. Oh, and like wow. his neighbor created and built Qbert from oh, wow. the beginning. That's and he like wow. looked at it and he was like, yeah, I'm not into this kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he could have been on the ground floor. Could have been. Could have been. I was just because they could have been an investor. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that? Uh, <laughs> so so like, you could have had stupid. a very different upbringing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Instead, we just golfed. Well, <laughs> I mean, uh, that could have been the same upbringing yeah. then if he invested. <laughs> I know. If he could have been the first golf video game, it would have been, you know, Fitzgerald. That's a possible or a, a very popular game too is top golf or whatever oh yeah, yeah like the bar. one, yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. bars yeah you just people get into that stuff yeah yeah it's yeah. the same thing with the bowling one and people do it really hard oh yeah <sighs> yep <laughs> <laughs> all right so we usually start with uh we've been started with hot seat questions we're just, Ooh, all right we're just gonna seat. ask you a bunch of random crazy questions all right is Some this questions? like is this like rapid fire Kinda. Kinda yeah. like, kind of like like you hit me a question I try to answer as quick as I can. Yeah, but if you need to dig in, dig okay. in. Okay, yeah. it will be timed also though. <laughs> 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 and these questions are how we're gonna try to really get to know. Dan. All right. Yeah. All right. You ready for the first one? Let's do it. Um, Dan, have you ever smashed anything? Oh yeah, I've smashed a lot of things. Really? Yeah, like, like electronics. Well, cars. Yeah. I mean, into things. I've been in car accidents. Does that oh, count? No. Yeah. <laughs> That's scary. I've been in car accidents, but never my fault. Were they your fault? Never your fault. Uh, <laughs> only one was yeah. was my fault, and that because yeah. when I was uh, when I first got my learner's permit or not my learner's permit, uh, my uh, restricted license. Okay. Actually, where you I could grew, drive with an adult. 
Well, no. Uh, actually, where I grew up, you could get a restricted license where you didn't have to drive with an adult. The learner's permit, you drove with an adult. Uh, the oh, restricted another level? Yeah, the restricted license just meant you couldn't drive between the hours of 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. So you couldn't drive at night, uh, but you okay. could drive during the day. And uh, so I got my license when I was like 14 or 15, something like that. And uh, <laughs> I was showing off with my <laughs> uh, my friend. My first car was a 66 Chrysler New Yorker. Uh, and it Quit had like dragon. a souped up. <laughs> I was, I'm not, I didn't grow up in the sixties. So let's just, first we got to back that up a little bit. Cause uh, <laughs> I'm not that old. Uh, but yeah, but that was my first car was a, a Chrysler New Yorker from the sixties. And it was like this big old boat, like four door and it, four door and it like had like floats, right? Yeah. Pretty, it was like made of steel, like hardcore <laughs> steel. Uh, but it had like a souped up engine and I, 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 I don't know. I thought it was cool to like go cruising down this gravel road. That sounds slam, very cool, dude. And then slam on the brakes and and be stopped by the time you got to the stop sign. Right? Oh that shit! Was, so it was so like that like, game you play with quarters where you try to get it as close as you can to the wall or something. Yeah, like that? exactly. Uh, kind of like that. I was doing that with a stop sign, and I was showing off to my friend. <laughs> but uh, this particular day, I lost control of the car on the gravel road, swerved a bunch, took out the stop sign, and fucking rammed right through a, a fire hydrant oh and no they do Water. not tip over like they do in the movies no. they are very very thick yeah. steel like my front end of my car just wrapped around it Ooh, spun around it and hug. bounced off so i had uh like a ping pong ball yeah pretty much and then i had <laughs> like uh i had the uh, indentation of the fire hydrant dead center of my car oh, i mean it damn. was like probably like centimeters from going through the radiator, which it didn't think goodness yeah. for that. But so it was still drivable, <laughs> but it just so, had an imprint and a hole <laughs> from, from the, you know, the, the, the cap. Oh shit. Put a hole it. through the hood. Jeez. So there was a hole through the hood, like perfect indentation <laughs> of the fire hydrant. And then I got stopped by cops all the time because they thought I was in hit and run accidents all the time. Oh yeah. And then I would have to show them the accident tag. I'm like, no, this happened a long time time ago this is just an old car and there's no parts for it yeah. <laughs> Damn. and they're just like who did you just hit pretty much yeah <laughs> multiple times i got pulled over for they're just like oh we just had a check to make sure this you didn't get in an accident i'm like nope i did but not today <laughs> yeah and dude, that's a good move <laughs> having that photo the report yeah well no it was because back in the the 90s they they had these like red accident tags that they would fill out by hand right. huh. and then you just hang it in your car. So did you guys call the cops right after you hit the fire? Yeah, the, the people's, uh, that that lived in the house on the corner. Oh, uh, okay. So and they were super pissed because because <laughs> their house was also a daycare. Ooh. You know, like in, in hindsight, like you know, when I think back on it, yeah, it was very stupid. Yeah. Like <laughs> all of it was stupid. And the cop did a very good job of making me feel bad yeah. because he he didn't give me a oh, ticket. Man. He just gave me a really big, really good lecture he about how now. I could have killed somebody. That Damn. yeah, basically shamed me by saying yeah. I could have killed a kid. Uh, so, I mean, so it was pretty heavy. Yeah. Uh, so I just had to, the only, the only repercussion that I really had is I had to pay for the damage and it was like uh, less than a hundred dollars. I had to replace the sign and then the paint. And then the recover fire. like mentally. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Do you think if they hadn't called the cops, you would have tried to get away? I don't know. Maybe. Cause I was yeah. on, I was actually on my way to get on the bus to go to church camp. So. <laughs> You're going to be gone anyway. Oh, man. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, all summer to ask for forgiveness. You'll be fine. It's funny because I didn't tell my dad either. Like, cause oh, I, yeah. As yeah. soon as they, as soon as I got done at the cop, I rushed to the church because I was running late. Damn. Got and to then, the church and went to Bible camp for like two weeks. Oh. <laughs> so my dad didn't find out until I got back from Bible camp that I was you in were this like, accident. I've already been forgiven, Dad. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I spent the last 14 days asking for forgiveness. Yeah. Yeah. We're good, Dad. <laughs> I took the bottom bunk. I understand sacrifice now. Yeah. Oh man. All right. What's uh what's what what's the first time you remember feeling anger and why? Oh wow. Wow, that's yeah. a deep one. Yeah. Ah man. Yeah, what's an angry Dan look like yeah. early? I used to get angry a lot. Really? Yeah. I think I kind of got that from my dad too. He used to have a really short temper. Yeah. Like he got 
mad at everything. I think I that remember. happens with guys who had dads who have short tempers. They're just like, I don't want to be mad. But yeah, I'm, but I'm so, so mad. Fucking mad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But as I've gotten older, it's like I'm so mellow now. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know. Probably in my as a teenager, or even as a kid, you get mad because you don't get your way. Yeah. Throw a tantrum. Yeah, probably smash something. Yeah, smash exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hit it Drive up. a car into a fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your uh, least favorite state? Ooh, I think it's South Car- uh, Dakota. South Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, if politically, it's probably <laughs> South Dakota. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, the, the the governor and a lot of the politicians there really, really pissed me off. Yeah. Uh, I mostly just used t- Twitter to like roast Government them. Government sucks. Because uh, yeah, I I'm not a fan of them. Uh, they're very they're very hateful. Yeah. Um, but as far as like states that I, a state that I've been to that I didn't like, God, I don't know. I, I mean, I've usually found something good in, like, every place you that I've the, went. Like, the bright good, side. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, th- there's little things that you look for. Because I travel a lot with comedy, and I've been to a lot of different places. So it's like you you, you dread going. But, you know, like, for ex- you know, I've done comedy in Wyoming. And to me, going to Wyoming doesn't sound that great. Because yeah. also growing up, that's where my Bible camp was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hate so, like, hit with I those, already like, had, like, a weird like oh i don't like wyoming but then i performed there and met some really cool people and made some really long-lasting friendships so it's like ah it's kind of cool so i hate getting hit with those ads dude south dakota's one of them wyoming's one of them that like make it look so nice when they're like visit south Dakota. oh yeah absolutely (laughs) it's like people jumping off cliffs yeah and like happy families at a (laughs) coffee shop i'm like dude this doesn't this isn't South Dakota. They yeah. film it in one little section of yeah. the state. Of course. <laughs> in Wyoming, they film it where like Kanye West lives and stuff. Yeah. Like, Please come. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, this is a this is a fuck Mary kill. Oh. Right. Whoa. Yeah. Oof. Those are good. Democrats, Republicans, <laughs> and Libertarians. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Damn. All right. Uh, uh, (laughs) All right. I'm probably going to go fuck. Oh, man. I don't know. That's a tough one. Yeah. It is a tough one. Kind of is. I mean, I already can tell you. It's kill Republicans. Yeah. You know, also fuck them. They're about uh, to die anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're doing a good job of killing themselves. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd probably go, uh, I mean, if I'm doing it logically, I'm going to go marry Democrats because, you, know, yeah. you know, Democrats seem to be like, uh, you know, uh, upstanding citizens. Yeah, but they never shut like, up. Well, that's true. <laughs> well, and that's, I mean, have you been married? Yeah. Okay, then. I'm divorced. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <Yeah. laughs> so, <laughs> so, so then you know I'm on par with Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> and go fuck libertarians because, you know, they don't like rules. So They're all about freedom. You just fuck them and leave them. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I couldn't imagine a libertarian <laughs> making vows. Making vows? Yeah. Or they'd be like, like, well, like, fuck the rules. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I might say these things now, but I want to know that I have the freedom to re-express myself and change. Yeah, that's why you get a divorce. <laughs> 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 yeah, hell yeah, that was that was great. You, you want to play, or I don't know. Do you have another I, question? I got another one. All right, um, Dan. What is your favorite juice? My favorite Ooh. juice? Oh man, uh, probably pineapple juice. If Whoa. I I mean if I drank juice, that's kinky. I don't drink as much. That's a wild as juice. Sugary. Uh, yeah, uh, well, I like the fl- I like pineapple flavor. Really? Oh like yeah, candy. I don't think I've yeah. ever heard anyone say that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, I, I love pineapple as a fruit. I, yeah. I, I love it. I mean, I used to think like watermelon was my favorite fruit, and then right. I got to thinking about it as a flavor. It's like I like watermelon as a fruit, and I like it as a flavor in some things. But like with pineapple, I like it as a fruit, but also in th- like right now. Uh, the, I'm drinking uh, a, a coconut pineapple wow. sparkling ice. Wow. <laughs> the proof is there. Yeah. It's in the, it's exactly. In the it's right here. Right here. I brought it. I came prepared for that question that I didn't know was going to happen. <laughs> Dude, are you sponsored by pineapple? <laughs> Maybe. Big pineapple. Isn't that the symbol yeah, for big like. Big pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big pineapple's got me. Yeah. You know. 
instead of a, <laughs> instead of pot leaves, I just got uh, I just got the pineapple leaves. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it like a, a swinger logo too? Isn't that Is the it? star? I don't know. Somebody told me that was a star. When you see a star on somebody's house, it means they're they're in fact, just open. Open Who's that? Who was I with? Oh, just yesterday somebody told me that. Or, no, yeah, the up, other day. Look up Swinger logos. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, I think it was Al- Albright that told me that. Actually, oh, really? I gave, I gave, yeah, I gave him a ride home after our show on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he, there was a house that had a star, and he's like, "Do you know what the stars mean on these houses?" And I'm it's like, not, "It's just like a Christmas." Well, star. that's what yeah. I said. I was like, "Christmas," and yeah. he's like, "No, no, no, that's their year round." Oh, okay. <laughs> and he goes, and he goes, uh, I, "I think it, it has something to do with you know yeah. being a swinger." I'm yeah. like, "I don't know. I didn't know that." But he's like, "I fucked that guy's <laughs> wife every Monday." <laughs> this is a uh, conspiracy, but I don't know if it's true. Uh, yeah, according to Snopes, it says false. Okay, so whatever that's worth. Okay, there but, we go. But it's not a question that hasn't been asked. All right, you see, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, wow. I'd never heard of it. That was the first time. And it's also said, probably just one dude who was like, "Oh, those people are swingers." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. Those stars. <laughs> How's the drive on Wednesday, man? That was a crazy night. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, luckily we were just in Loveland, so oh, that okay. was good. But was it not as bad up there? Well, no, I mean, it, it was still yeah. pretty bad. Yeah, I, yeah. I almost got stuck a couple times yeah. trying to get home. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I drive a Kia Soul. Okay. Uh, and, yeah, it, it's not great for getting around in the snow. Yeah, There's no weight to it. That's the problem. Yeah. It's too light. Yeah. So you can't get any traction. <laughs> I got stuck like four times. Yeah, you said you were having struggling. Well, you were struggling up and down hills and shit like yeah. that. Oh, yeah, I believe it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was bad. I had to like stop. Anytime I stopped at an intersection, that's when I had problems. Yeah. Then I'd have to like throw it in reverse, try to back up, yeah. and then build up momentum to go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and hope nobody was coming so I didn't get smoked. <laughs> right. Dude, that's what sucks is seeing the people go fast behind you. Oh, yeah. God. You're no. like, come on, guys. Like, Why are you slow doing down. This? <laughs> this it's is, icy out there. This is dumb. Yeah, I was actually gonna supposed to come do a podcast last night in Denver with somebody, and I was like, I'm going to – we'll have to reschedule. I don't yeah. want to risk – because there was already – even though they were plowing and stuff, there's a bunch of accidents. They had to keep closing the 25 for accidents, and it then it was chaos. getting icy, and yeah. I was like, ah, uh, well, let's yeah, reschedule. Honestly, last night was probably the most, like – black ice kind of situations I've ever seen in Denver. Okay, well, then it was good yeah. choice on my part not to <laughs> come. It's like, usually, you know, like it snows and then it, it's sunny and it dries, but yeah, it yeah. rained for like four hours before, before it even yep, started snowing. Yep. I think that's what fucked us. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it was very slushy. Yeah. Snow, too. Yeah. I had a shovel yesterday. Was not a fan. Yep. <laughs> yeah, when I, I walked, uh, when I got home, I was like, oh, it's raining. But I said it was snowing because it was pretty much like this little bit of snow, but right. it was mostly rain. Yeah. And everybody was like, that's not snow. And then like two hours later. (laughs) Yeah. It was was fucking wild. It was like a blanket. And I love the way it catches on the trees. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And like catch it. It's so pretty. And breaks them. (laughs) Makes it all magical. Yeah. Yeah. That should have been last week during Christmas. Not now. (laughs) I know. That's too late. It missed its mark. (laughs) Yeah, right. A couple days before, a couple days after. That sucks. It did suck having those zero days. Yeah. That was chaos. That was crazy. I'm not used to that. No. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, I, I grew up in the upper Midwest, so yeah. Yeah. minus temperatures don't, I'm not unaccustomed to them. It's really yeah. one of those things where, like, once it snows, it just stays, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, pretty much. It just keeps accumulating. Uh, That's yeah. what I like about Colorado. Like, it'll snow, yeah. but then there's so much sun that it melts. It's gone. And it's gone. Yeah. And yeah. then it snows again, and then it melts. And it's gone. Up there, it just, it's, uh, just, it just gets into those temperatures where it just accumulates. Yeah. And then it gets and all black and Dirty gross. and gross. And, yeah, yep. It, yeah, but then last week during the, uh, I tried to go home for Christmas, yeah. and I got stuck in Nebraska. I didn't even make wow. it home for Christmas after well, yeah. after like I finally could after I was able to travel again. I just came back to Colorado. <laughs> I was like, ah, fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. That didn't work. I'm not. I'm not gonna go see my family for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> no Christmas miracle. No. Well, no. It was a miracle that we got to leave because I was starting to wonder. <laughs> yeah. I kept telling my partner, I was like, I think this is a conspiracy. So this town can make <laughs> can make extra money. They like closed all the roads so everybody would be stranded yeah. in this like little Jordan town. Peele. Movie. Yeah, exactly. Because like, cause like the, the all the restaurants were like, the, the, there's only a couple restaurants in this town. Yeah. There's like a pizza place bar, and it was always hopping during the 
you know, because there were so many people stranded in this town. There's like two hotels, not very big hotels, totally booked up. Some oh, people damn. had to sleep at uh, at the youth like a youth center at like the, the church. Center? Well, yeah, because yeah, they they didn't have any rooms anywhere, so the church basically took them in. Yeah. But uh-huh. yeah, but there were all these people going to these restaurants and these local businesses, coffee shop. They just like, haven't had anything <laughs> like this. I'm like, oh, this is. I see what they're up yeah. to. They just closed <laughs> these roads yeah, so exactly. so they could boost their economy <laughs> right before bucks. Christmas. I get it. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it had nothing to do with the fact that they got like almost three feet of snow the week before, and then this <laughs> last week the wind blew it all in but <laughs> yeah, they probably control the weather that's yeah, probably what it, it is pro- that's exactly it and the roads <laughs> in this little town in nebraska yeah Look, Rush, rushville nebraska yeah. <laughs> rushville rushville nebraska damn and after the name the band rush <laughs> I don't know. I didn't get that. I couldn't. I barely left my hotel room. I was like trapped in the nineties, man. We, they, the, the hotel room had a like twenty inch tube TV, wow. like from <laughs> that had the had the RCA like adapters yeah. oh, nice. and everything. Yeah, like you, you damn near you needed a binoculars. You needed it. binoculars to watch this TV <laughs> from the bed. <laughs> Latter Day Saints Bible. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. That's a good read. You gonna take us through the year? Yeah. Yeah. I do have that. I did want to do real quick just one last question. Oh, okay. All right, let's do it. Um, Dan, do you have any a favorite conspiracy? A favorite? I. You know, I, it doesn't have to be one you believe I, in. Well, the, I, I. So I have my own. That's what I got <laughs> yeah. for you guys. Because I was listening to some episodes, and I. <laughs> I was listening to some episodes today, and I was like, "Oh man, they're going to ask me this," yeah. <laughs> and I don't really. I'm not really a conspiracy guy. Uh, but I have a conspiracy theory that I've I've tried to write it as a joke and it doesn't work. But my conspiracy theory is that I think that Bigfoot or Sasquatch, whatever you want to call him, is the ghost of a caveman. <laughs> A, that is a pissed, ghost. a ghost that's haunting the woods because he's pissed that people enjoy camping. Oh, okay. That's, that's I cool. Think, because, you know, like, we've you spent think this is fun? billions of years evolving to sleep inside. Yeah, no, and now people right like to go, around. they want to go out and sleep under the stars yeah. for an experience. They want to glamp. They want to glamp, exactly. They want to glamp and uh, Bigfoot's pissed. <laughs> that makes sense. Or the ghost, the ghost yeah. of the caveman yeah. is pissed. <laughs> yeah, they want to take all these resources they acquired in the city out here, and then just play caveman culture as if they're <laughs> wildlife. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And he's just out there like an old man on the yard. Get out of my forest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is why his sounds are probably so crazy. Yeah, that's exactly. why it's always blurry. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's because he's shaking his fist. That's yeah. why they can't get him. <laughs> can't get a he's, picture of him. He's shaking his fist and he's translucent. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude! And we've never photographed a ghost, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean, blurry. I mean, to have they, wedding pictures. They no. cla- <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I thought you were divorced. I didn't realize you killed your wife. No, we're divorced. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said. I just. That's funny that I just assumed you killed your wife. Yeah. I should have. I could have said. I didn't realize you. I thought you were divorced, not a widower. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. But I assume I went right for the murderer. <laughs> <laughs> there were days. <laughs> it's probably because I was married for a long time too. So I. Yeah, you know. You get it. <laughs> I get it. Hundred yeah, percent. Marriage sucks. Yeah. It's fucking. Well, bad marriages suck. Yeah. Bad True. Ones. Bad ones are bad. Dude, bad I mean, marriage. bad relationships, period, yeah. suck. Bad relationships. Those all sound like cool, like, rock <laughs> tours. <laughs> rock what? Bad relationships. Like, okay. two different rock bands, like Marilyn Manson uh, and, yeah. like, Godsmack or something like that. Like the bad band. relations tour. Ooh. <laughs> Corn and Slipknot. <laughs> yeah, dude, Iowa. Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I did... Okay, so I thought... Um, because the news goes so fast. So fast. You know what I mean? I feel like if we could really quickly just go through all of the big things that happened this year, mm-hmm. we'll take it down, take us down memory lane and really recap 2022 with everything that happened. I'm going to say, you could just do a recap of this last week. Yeah. <laughs> it's been <laughs> last week. Yeah. Year. Things have really started cooking up. Once yeah. you, it is yeah, crazy that like, so I'm writing out all these news stories, right? Because I went through the whole, like, <laughs> I did all this research. Yeah. And... Really, it's like June. There's like two things, and they're both a bummer. Oh. And then you hit November, and it's like, holy boom, shit, boom, crazy boom. things are going on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so the book gets better. 
The book, the, book, <laughs> the longer you go, the book gets better. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, so January. All right. January 3rd, Elizabeth Holmes is convicted. Do you remember that? Kind of. I mean, yeah, I don't really remember either. It was the lady who, like, had that, like, fake cancer test. Is that what it was? I'm fake pretty sure. cancer test. Yeah, so it was, like, a test um, to, to say if you had cancer or not. Yeah. And it just uh, wasn't accurate whatsoever. Um, but they definitely said it was. So people were walking around thinking they were fine. Didn't she get pregnant, like, three times during her trial, too? Oh, wow. Wait really a minute. Was? So they were telling people they didn't have cancer even though they did? Yeah. And so these false negatives and false positives, like the the things just didn't work. Oh, uh, so like some people thought they had cancer. But I'm pretty didn't. sure. I think and that people that's what who she had did. cancer, either that or it was like a pure. And she was like team. a doctor. I think she pretended to. She played uh, one on TV. Okay. Wow. <laughs> no, I didn't hear about it. I'm surprised because I listen to a lot of true crime oh, stuff. Dude. So I'm surprised that that I that one slipped crime. under the radar. <laughs> dude, I was watching one the other day. It was so funny. I, I love the, like, investigation ones where the cops have to get the info out of the people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, they do the interrogations and yeah. stuff. Yeah, and, yep. like, their tactics. Like the first and, 48 out. The first 48. Yeah. And there's this one where this guy sits down and the cop comes in. And he's like, do you know why you're here? And the guy <laughs> very quickly says, because I murdered, like, seven people, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's like okay well maybe we move too quickly real quick like, uh we need to start, we need to slow down a little bit this was hold on holy shit <laughs> i'm gonna it, i'm gonna leave for a minute <laughs> have a smoke and a coffee and then i'm gonna come back and try this again <laughs> and like they try to do like the backgrounds on the people and try to give some kind of information to make you like attached to the person so like one of them it was like and this character really, or this guy really wanted to get uh, drug paraphernalia, like marijuana. So he joined gangs like the Bloods. <laughs> it was like, that's not, you can get weed so many different ways. Yeah. That's not how people, that's not why he joined the Bloods. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like weed is a gateway drug to <laughs> the most like intense he gang. He dedicated his <laughs> life to crime and murder for a blunt. <laughs> Yeah, for right. a good toke. Yeah. <laughs> um, on the 18th, I don't know if you guys are video game guys, um, but Microsoft purchased Activision. Wow. Ooh. And that was a big deal. Yeah. I, yeah I used, I, I'm not a big gamer now. I used to be a huge yeah. gamer. Cause I used to game a lot when I was in my early 20s. And True. Yeah. And when I had more time. <laughs> yeah. I, I just, just spent a lot of sports games. I, yeah. Same here. Yeah. yeah. It's a time but suck, But I remember, because didn't Activision, is Activision did... Uh, Tony Hawk, Pro Skater. Okay. I yeah. remember that. I feel like... Maybe Didn't Call they do... Uh, before that, though, didn't they do uh, GoldenEye? Right, yeah. Uh, and uh, Perfect so. Dark and all them, like from the N64? Yeah. I mean, they've been around a long time. Yeah. 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 And now it's like one big conglomerate. Yeah, dude. Damn yeah. It. That's what we need is monopolies. <laughs> <laughs> Another game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> All right, February um, 13th, the Rams win the Super Bowl. How cool was that? It's about time. In Los Angeles. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> Good for them. I don't really want to talk about football. Uh, <laughs> the, the I know, dude, the Broncos. It's yeah. been so bad. Very bad. It really sucks. Yeah. Just seeing how bad a team can be. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, All right. The, I can feel that. I'm not like a big football, football person. My partner is. She's a big Vikings fan. Hell yeah. And she's been uh, having to watch defeat year after year after year after year. Yeah. So it's like I'm kind of excited for her because they're doing really good this year. But also, you know, I'm going to laugh hysterically when they fucking fall on their face. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it all up. It's coming. It's coming. When it all ends. <laughs> it always does. It seems <laughs> like with them. Yeah. <laughs> Um, on the 17th of February, that's when the baby formula got recalled. Remember that shortage Ooh. that was going on? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was no good. No, yeah. no. Babies need formula. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was a bad, that was a, I mean, that was a bad deal. Bad deal. Yeah, that was a terrible That's time. just one of those headlines you hate to read, too. You hate mm -hmm. to see it. Yeah, you're like, those babies, like, it's not like they can it's make not like some they have a, It's not like they have a natural source of milk that nature created for them that never <laughs> runs out but you know 
<laughs> anyway, <laughs> I don't know that natural milk with the way that the way we ingest so many processed foods and yeah. and things is probably, it's probably not, not as so natural. Huh? Yeah. It's yeah. probably not as natural anymore. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> Isn't there a thing where like we can't exist without soy now? Like our know. bodies are I dependent have... on it. No idea. I don't know. I don't eat anything with soy. On well, what, it's what in day like, of the year did that was like that? What, yeah, it's, it's like, like what? the preservatives. I thought. Oh, is it uh, maybe? I don't know. I don't know that much about that stuff. Who knows? <laughs> I'm just like I'm like I don't know because I don't. I We're don't all like... poisoned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we it's got wrong. like it's the wrong podcast. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, so if soy is like in everything, then technically isn't everything like vegan, mm. <laughs> vegetarian? <laughs> Yo, soy. I've been learning Spanish. <laughs> He's using Duolingo. <laughs> Dude, I'm at a 27-day streak right now. Wow. That's actually not bad. I guess not. I mean, I don't know. I've never done it, so. I feel, I, dude, I get fired up when I see that little flame from keeping the trend going. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, February 24th, Russia invades. Ooh. I know. That was a crazy one. I guess it's still going on. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was a crazy thing, it, yeah. and it's it was and is still pretty crazy. <laughs> still pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. really like uh, was the right at the beginning of the year too. Yeah. That sucks. February. What can you do? Mm. Everything's still so cold. I think it's always cold there. Oh yeah, probably. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> it's know pretty about close that. to the Arctic or the North Pole. Is it? I thought Russia? it was more. I well, Russia is, but they yeah. invaded Ukraine. Well, Ukraine's like right. I I don't know geography. <laughs> yeah, they're right there. <laughs> they touch each other. Uh, well, yeah, I do. Yeah. They're they're obviously they're on borders. Yeah, you know? I, did I didn't for know a if while. Ukraine was more north or south. South, it's south. Okay, because yeah. I thought it was closer to Greece. Yeah, yeah, because isn't it along like the Baltic Sea or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah they're greasy <laughs> over there. Yeah, <laughs> real greasy. <laughs> uh, March second. So pretty quickly after the Russia's nonsense, Ooh. oil prices started surging. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Would have thought. Yeah. And gas went up. Yeah. Ooh, and everyone started complaining. Yeah. Supply and demand. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> who, who didn't pay attention in third grade economics? Raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently most of America. <laughs> yeah, bro. Dude, that was, I took a, mis I made a mistake taking economics in college. I was so lost. Yeah, I had to make like a binder full of all these things. It's so so bad. Interesting. I was just dumb. Um, <laughs> At least the twenty minute <laughs> March twenty seventh. I know it was community college too. It wasn't even like you could have left that part out. <laughs> <laughs> um, March twenty seventh, the slap. Oh, <laughs> Chris Rock. Yeah, dude. Gets slapped by Will Smith. He's definitely probably talking about it on stage, right? Probably. I've heard that he has. I mean. I I just heard, because uh, he's got a new special coming out. No he, shit. He's doing like a live, like the first ever live Netflix special. Oh, is that? Yeah. Is that, yeah. yeah. What? And in yeah. the promo, I, I haven't watched the trailer for it, but I heard that in the trailer, he kind of alludes to yeah. maybe doing material about I it. I think it's just like a quick thing. Yeah. But yeah. I've heard every single comic that I've heard, I mean, the future. on podcasts, talk about seeing his recent says that it's like bring the pain style Chris Rock, Rock which is pretty cool. Hell yeah. So awesome. that'll be cool to see. I also, uh, I mean, like it reminds me of Richard Pryor setting himself on fire then talking about it in his very next special. Where yeah. when you address that stuff, it's so, yeah. it's so funny. Because yeah. like everybody's asking. I mean, Louie did it. You know, yeah. like in Sorry or whatever. Yeah. Um, or whatever the one he did first where he was like, you know how much it sucks for Obama to know your kink? <laughs> like, he definitely saw that. Yeah, no. Yeah. It, yeah, I mean, it's funny when people address the shit that everybody wants to hear. Yeah, yeah, Aziz yeah. Ansari did it in did the beginning of his special. Yeah. You know, he was like, I'm not going to talk about it. And that's me talking about it or whatever. Yeah. And then he just moved on. Yeah. Good gotta, for Got to address that uh, elephant in the room. Yeah. 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 Uh, we got April. Wow, we're not moving very fast. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> April 7th, supply chain issues. <laughs> <laughs> this is riveting. <laughs> you guys, are you noticing a trend? 
<laughs> the headlines. I know everything was getting bad. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it's all kind of related. I mean, you have supply and demand issues. Yeah. We're running out. Of, we have recalls and products. Oh, then yeah. Then we have supply chain issues that they're all kind of like related. Yeah, so it's all kind it's of the, like a train, uh, a trend. The, I think that's like the the third trumpet in Revelation. <laughs> <laughs> the apocalypse is coming. Yeah. <laughs> the Fed is rising. <laughs> Like the flood. Yeah. Um, well, May and June literally are just nothing but, like, other than Kellogg getting split into three companies, which... I don't... I didn't even know that, that happened. Well, they're too big of a snack That's company. That's crazy. I know. I know, right? They're three now. They're three. They're like, they're the, like whole, the Trinity. The, yeah. What are the three? Uh, they're, like, the crackers, cereal, and... Oh, I got... Okay. So, so like, just, three... It's still Kellogg's, but they're just... Three different factions now. Oh, okay. They, they were too big of a company. Oh, they were getting too big. <laughs> yeah. Too many products. They had to split yeah. them product lines. Yeah. One for each kid. Yeah, we can't oh. we can't be mixing crackers and cookies here. Yeah. <laughs> this, one's, this one's good. Uh, June 30th, first black woman at, onto the Supreme Court. Hell yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? That's yeah. something to that celebrate. That was amazing. That's tight. I don't even remember this. I feel bad. I know. Dude, that's what's why her, we're doing this. Confirmed. That's why we're doing this. What's we're going her, through the name? year. Oh, oh wait, man. I think I wrote it. <laughs> Do you know her name? No, nope, uh, I just wrote uh, first black woman. <laughs> I bad. don't. We I know. <laughs> no, we should know this. We're gonna edit this part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this is the one that gets us canceled. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, there's nothing fun in July. Isn't it like something? August sucked. August oh, Mar a Lago. How dare you say that about? That's my... when the boxes got. Oh, that's when Ripped the open. government went to get their, their property back? Yeah. <laughs> what are you looking at, Dylan? You know, congratulations to her. <laughs> <laughs> Kintaji, Kintaji Brown Jackson. Oh, Supreme yeah, Court Jackson. I, I thought it was Jackson, but I wasn't 100% sure. I couldn't remember the first name, but I thought her last name was Jackson. Yeah, yeah. But I, I didn't want to say without actually knowing. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Just assume. That's always bad when you assume. Yeah, it really is. That's um, how you get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> September 26th. Ooh. Here's a good one. Uh, we did the first planetary defense test. Oh, where NASA time. sent a spacecraft to hit an asteroid and knock it off yeah, course. I remember this. So it could, yeah, see? Yeah. That's yeah. good. That is a good thing. Could save the planet someday. It's just, like, it's just funny that NASA had to take a plot from... A movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but those, that's true, though. That's, like, that's how you protect us, I guess. And that's how you win asteroids, actually, the game. Is yeah. you shoot them. Yeah, you shoot them and knock them off. Yeah. Just enough. Just enough, <laughs> just enough to miss. Yeah. Or to hit, like, Siberia. <laughs> <laughs> um, then October. Things start cooking up. I think, yeah. October uh, is like the rise of Kanye, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Biden uh, pardoned marijuana federal oh, offenses of small amounts which total is weird of zero people i know there's not a lot of federal <laughs> offenses of in possession. small amounts no there's none there's zero i, I was zero i went to federal court because of weed possession really yeah all right but i got out scoffer yeah exactly <laughs> uh alex jones is found guilty uh, he was like five billion dollars <laughs> yeah. uh well must follow, bought twitter follow up to that is uh I think he got ordered. Uh, he can't file bank like he's trying to file bankruptcy to like yeah, they shell say himself. He can't do and that? They said he can't. Damn, so that's crazy. He, yeah, he's not protected through yeah. bankruptcy. He's gonna have. I didn't to even pay. know he's they gonna could do have that. to pay. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> um, November, Houston won the World Series. Oh fuck that! They're the cheaters. cheaters. Yeah. Cheaters. How'd they cheat? Well, it was a couple. Baseball. It was a couple World Series ago, I think. I don't really know how you <laughs> oh. cheat in baseball, but they're like they're tainted. Learning, it's like the, learning the signals, Patriots. I guess. I oh, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, trying to learn everybody's like filming paint. their dugout yeah. and shit. Oh. Yeah. They're throwing dust in people's breaking eyes. breaking the codes. Is what they're missed. doing. They're like doing, the <laughs> doing. Their coach is a reptilian, <laughs> <laughs> and that's not 
in regulation. Yeah, right. they're just like uh, <laughs> they're just, they they hire code breakers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got anonymous. Just to figure out what yeah, <laughs> figure out what the codes are so yeah. they can they can know what they're gonna play. Oh, yeah. oh, they're about to they're about to try to steal. Get ready. <laughs> yeah, it's like how many choices do you even have in baseball? <laughs> I, I honestly don't know. I think it's I think it's pretty ridiculous when you see them making all the gestures. Yeah. it's just it's really funny. It's kind of funny. Right? All that to say, steal second. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> 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 and that's baseball, dude. Uh, what else happened? Uh, November, we had the whole uh, crypto thingy happen that I couldn't understand at all. I don't know what happened. FX, FTX. Oh, the thing he that he's that he's just now going to trial for. Yeah, or he just got arrested for. Just got right? arrested for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that all like started to collapse. Yeah, it's because because yeah. uh, it's fraud. Yeah. Very fraudulent. It's easy, like crypto. That's What's one the of difference things. between that one and others? Well, what, I don't know specifically with that. Is, what are the others? <laughs> like guess. Bitcoin and well, Ethereum. I, and I think Well, the biggest money. problem is that they're not protected under the federal secure, like security or, or uh, I forget what it's called, the FCE or whatever. Yeah. Or F, whatever it is. Yeah. I'm that, not saying it right, but whatever. It's not protected the same way your money in a bank is. So, like, if somebody goes in and robs a bank, it's federally right. pro- insured. With crypto, they can't do that. So it's easy to, like, for hackers, can just steal your crypto. Oh, and man. then you're just out money. Oh, like, I there's think, nothing you can do. And I think he do. was the one that was transferring the money. Oh. So he was, like... I Into, think, like, his own accounts and shit like that? Something. So, I'm not exactly sure. But I think he was taking money off the top or something. Yeah. Or no, actually... Like a, actually, I think you're right. I think he that's he tra- he was just transfer. He was stealing money from people. Yeah. yeah. But I've, because I've it's heard not, that it might have been kind of like a... Another almost Epstein situation because, like, supposedly, like, all the people that were involved, like, all fucking each other. Like, it was a very weird situation. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, his girlfriend switched snitching. Oh, that's true. I did see they had a star outside of their house. I was going to say, this day day and age, nothing surprises me. When you think you can think of the most outlandish thing, and I'm going to be like, "Ah, maybe. (laughs) (laughs) With the way things are happening, strange things happen all the time. So maybe. (laughs) It's hard hard to tell what to believe and what not to believe. (laughs) You guys ever hear, like, the Silk Road? That website? Yeah. Oh, the website. That used to no. exist? I don't know. Is that where you used to buy drugs? And stuff yeah, like drugs and like Hitman and all this shit. Wasn't mm. that the black web? Yeah, yeah. It was like, and the guy who got arrested for it, who like, he got arrested because he like was asking for hits on people and the person was just like pretending. Like the, the, the Hitman, quote unquote, yeah. was just like, a regular hacker. That's like when eleven FBI agents convince one one Muslim guy to <laughs> bomb something, and then as soon as he agrees, they arrest him. And it's like, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe you just don't bring it to him. Like, yeah, maybe you just don't loop him into this. You know? Yeah, but he or definitely. Like that, you remember the Michigan governor that they tried to like kidnap or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like twelve out of the fifteen people that they arrested were all FBI informants, like who like convince these other yeah. guys it's like agents there's something wrong here I think. wow <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's crazy yeah it's all very kooky it yeah. is you know very. what i mean yeah there's a lot of forces working against us forces yes but we will prevail it's a lot of forests working against us yeah all right well, why are the forests working against us the forces the forces there's a lot of people out there you know <laughs> what right. i mean yeah just working against us all right I, guess. <laughs> I think the forests are working against yeah, us. Like Lord of the Rings. Yeah, they're working for they're working for the ghost of uh, Bigfoot. Bigfoot, yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, in December, uh, the rail strike was ended. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then they didn't give them healthcare. No, they don't get to have sleep days. Yeah, they don't get <laughs> nothing. But hey, actually, but, they they just passed. Uh, do they? Another, they get like seven now. Okay, which ain't a lot, but. Dude, still better. that's yeah, better than like, I get. Yeah, that's better than it was a couple weeks ago because yeah. I heard that they had declined it. Yeah, I think I think it did originally get declined. And and they figured out. Know, they made it happen. Vetoed. Maybe, maybe it made it happen. Yeah, thank uh-huh. God. Thought I saw that somewhere, and I could be totally be wrong too. Dude, I want so. our I want our conductors. Don't ever to believe be anything that comes out of my mouth. I think I know <laughs> what I'm talking about, but yeah. I probably don't. <laughs> we don't either, dude. Yeah. As with all of us, I think I'm informed, but. Also, a lot of my information comes from social media, yeah. so I'm probably misinformed. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the whole premise of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> 
And that was, yeah, that was pretty much a walk through the whole year. And then the World Cup or whatever. The World yeah. Cup. Yeah, but I don't did care you, about uh, soccer. Because but, but right when we got into this, we started talking about true crime. And uh, a, another big story this year was the Idaho fall, the murders oh, yeah, in Idaho. Yeah, those kids. Yeah, they just, uh, today, they, they arrested a suspect. Yeah, and he said, have you arrested anybody else? That was his first quote. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, just like today, they... Was it like somewhere. another college student, or I didn't look at, I didn't have time to like read the headline yet, but I just saw that they've arrested That's somebody crazy. for it. Well, yep. and the big thing that happened this year in true crime was like the Delphi murders. Yep, they arrested Got, a suspect for that too. Yeah, there was this like videotape and recording that these girls took while on a hike because yeah. there was this weird guy behind them, mm-hmm. and like they, they recorded the voice of him being like, "Go down the hill." Yeah. That was like the big voice out there, like yeah. the, the police released yeah to try to find the guy and it was probably like eight years or something like yeah, that maybe even longer they're, they're the delphi murders have been on so many different true crime covered on yeah. true, so many different true crime podcasts because it's like crazy it's, there's photos of them just chilling on the train tracks and in the background you can see the guy that's crazy yeah i've never heard of this yeah and oh, then yeah, they this found, happened in uh in indiana delphi indiana and they found the guy and yeah. they're like going through social media and they're finding photos of him in bars where the like wanted photos of the like guy are in the background, like That's right sketch. behind him. There was just a couple days ago up in <laughs> uh, sketch. up by where I live, this old seven year old guy got beat in his car to death. And they still haven't found the guy. Oh, I seen somebody post about that. Yeah. Seventy so year old? Yeah, they yep. beat him up. How long do you last? As a 70 year old in that kind of thing. Is it like 30 seconds and you just kind of probably one punch? I don't know. It depends on know. depends on the 70 year old. Ooh, I mean, yeah. there's some old people that I'd be afraid of. True. 70 is <laughs> I mean, the new 40. I was going to say, I mean, it, it, Chuck Norris is in his 70s. True. I so, would have I mean, I feel, uh, yeah, exactly. Han Solo. Yeah, exactly. He's like, I mean, <laughs> <It's> like 78. <laughs> That's I mean, true. <laughs> I think it, was, it depends on the person. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I don't even think I could beat Clint Eastwood. Yeah, and he's probably, he's, um, he's like in his 90s. Oh, I thought he was dead. <laughs> no, he's probably in his 80s. But yeah, yeah. Is he's he? getting old. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he's got that grandpa there. strength oh, for sure. Yeah, he's way up there. Yeah. You know what? This is perfect. We're going to go into the intro of In Memoriam. Let's do it, dude. In Memoriam. So, um, we lost a lot of people this year. We did, dude. A lot of great people. Yeah, honestly. I, I don't really know. Well, I'm about to bring us through. This is 2022 in memoriam. 2022. You guys rest, can say rest, some words rest, also rest after we I say the name. Just just con- I want to confirm. Yeah. Clint Eastwood is 92 years old. 92. So Clint Eastwood. pretty much dead. No wonder he's <laughs> a Republican. Yeah, I'm, I'm choosing him for my death pool this year. Yeah, that's yeah. cheating. <laughs> I think you for can twenty for, for twenty twenty two or twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty three. Yeah, because there's still a few days. There's left. a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to put negative energy out. I'm yeah. just being, you know, just think really hard about Clint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't send anybody to beat him. That's All right, twenty twenty two. Yeah, in memoriam. In memoriam. Uh, we lost the queen. Oh. So sad. I don't care about the royal family. No? No, I'm not into that. Honestly, at all. Yeah. I, don't know. I think... Uh, I feel like it used to be cool to be in. I think so, too. I, don't, I think they're really just there for, like, status. Or not yeah. status. Or, like... Uh, show. Show. Yeah, yeah, it's a show. It's a it's a horse and pony show. Yeah. And they're, they're not even British. British. They're German. What? What? Yeah. In memoriam. <laughs> We lost Sidney Portier. Oh, good actor. Uh, Very one good of the, actor. One of yeah. the greatest, honestly. The first, I think, black guy to win a um, yeah. Academy Award. What movie was that? Was it? Uh, uh, wasn't a Brian song? Heat. Brian song. It was Heat. It was, was like it? Uh, the the Heat movie where it was like the, the he goes into the town and he's like stuck on the train or whatever. I don't know, but Brian song. Oh, was good. Uh, they made it into a TV show. No, uh, yeah, yeah, Heat of the Night. Heat of the night. In the heat, heat of the night. Wow. Oh, okay. Sydney Portier. Ninety-two. Oh. I think he was ninety-two. Actually, he was pretty old. Coming for you, Clint. Um, what? Oh, just a message for Clint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beat Sydney, dude. <laughs> um, Bob Saget. Oh. In memoriam. America's dad. <laughs> That's a sad one. Yeah, it was sad. 
He was like really starting to uh, come back. Supposedly he was going to do, do you know Rudy Garcia? Yeah. Supposedly he was going to do the Cowtown Comedy Festival that year. Oh, really? And then wow. He died. <laughs> That's so In sad. Memoria. Damn it, Rudy. <laughs> you killed Bob Saget. <laughs> Your shitty comedy festival off. <laughs> Just kidding. That's the funnest I've ever had, actually. <laughs> Edit that part out. <laughs> also, I was wrong. Uh, uh, Sydney was not in uh, Brian's song. Oh. I'm, I'm racist. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. I'm it's, trying to do better. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> we get it, dude. You're from South South Dakota. It's hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we lost Gilbert Godfrey. Oh, that was this year. Yeah. It feels like yeah. 2021. I know. Louis Anderson. Oh wow. In memoriam. Yeah. Probably could have happened sooner. <laughs> <laughs> He's a sweet guy, sweetheart, yeah, though. Definitely. I had him on the art of bombing. Oh, uh, really? A few months before he died. Wow. Yeah. No shit. Just, That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. such a. Such a very kind and giving person. Yeah. 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 I watched this. I totally watched the special too that came out last year or whatever. It was good. I thought he, I was, he was so good in baskets. Yeah. Yeah. That's the mom. Yeah. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah. In memoriam. Rest in peace. We got meatloaf. Oh, I love meatloaf with gravy, <laughs> mashed potatoes. It's so good. <laughs> we lost Costanza's I mom. Saying, I almost killed some. Meatloaf before I came. Oh, really? really? Yeah. <laughs> but you chose not to. You chose no. to spare it. Yeah. <laughs> Decided to let it let it linger. <laughs> the, it's George's mom. It's Costanza's mom. Yeah. Wow. I don't have any feelings about that. <laughs> we lost uh, Ray Liotta. Oh, Goodfellas, dude. Yep. Great movie. Great actor too. Yeah. He's so Great handsome. Actor. Yeah. Yeah. I guess his eyes. Yeah. I like. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Ivanka Trump. Uh, is that the one that died? Yep. Ivanka buried or? in a golf course. Was it Ivanka or it's Ivana? No, I think it was Ivana. Ivana's the daughter. Yeah, I don't. Oh. I don't know. They're, all well, I know is that poor lady got buried in a golf course. Maybe that to was save my... money. <laughs> to save money. Yeah. yeah, it was a tax break. <laughs> was it really? Yeah, that was like a headline, and they yeah really? Trump had her buried in one of his like. Golf courses to get a tax break, right, right off. Yeah, so, it's good for the dude. grass. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, that's crazy. Gallagher. Oh man, he's up there smashing heavenly pumpkins. <laughs> heavenly pumpkin. That guy. <laughs> 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 Gallagher too still with us though. Yeah. Well, I think. Maybe. How do we know? How do we, I don't How know. Do we, we know, know which one? Well, yeah. Where's Gallagher three? Yeah, what if Gallagher 2 just made it seem like Gallagher 1 died? So he could, uh, or maybe maybe Gallagher 1 made it faked seem like... his own death, but really killed Gallagher 2, so then he didn't have to worry about somebody stealing his act. Holy shit. Yeah, I know, it's just mind-blowing. <laughs> but I will say, I spent a whole day with Gallagher once, and it was the most exhausting day of my life. No really? shit. Very mentally draining. Is that one of the days you wanted to smash something, but yes. he was just smashing something already? <laughs> 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 yeah, he was he was smashing my emotional defense. Yeah. <laughs> Your heart. We lost uh, takeoff. Uh, shitty rappers. Coolio. Good rapper. Olivia Newton John. Oh, sad. Good movies, <laughs> right? Grease. Yep, Grease, and try to be have a music career. But Did physical, really? right? Yeah, physical, physical. I that don't think that was her. No clue. I don't. Maybe, but I don't. Okay. I could be wrong. Oh, yeah. And Razor Raymond, Jason David Frank. Razor Raymond, Jason David Frank. Yeah, <laughs> I can't believe you nailed that, dude. <laughs> it's called Razor As Raymond. As if you know who that is. Well, Jason David Frank is the Power Ranger. Oh, Razor Raymond. I think Razor Raymond was his name. Are you talking about Razor Ramon? Oh yeah. You're talking about Scott Hall. Oh, wait. The bad guy? Dude. Did I mix two people there? I think you mixed up I think two. you just, like, combined two people. How dare you do that to Scott <laughs> you, you I thought it was one big, long name. I'm like, wait nah. a minute, because <laughs> I was confused, too. Razor, I've never, yeah, because I don't think Jason David Frank has ever been called Razor Ramon. Okay, well, probably not. Ra you, you said Razor Raymond, didn't yeah. you? That's hilarious. No, <laughs> that's, a res that's a wrestler that died this year. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Good wrestler. Uh, yeah, Razor Ramon. Yeah, you're the bad guy. Yeah. Bad always times. Had the always had the toothpick. Yeah. Bad times, what does he say? Bad times never last, but good guys do. 
bad guys do. I don't know. Something like that, yeah. Hard time Rest shape in peace. young boys or something. I was Hard re- time remember him and the one, two, three kid. Yeah. The <laughs> NWO. Is that Pac everything? Now. That was that's in memoriam. That's, that, yeah, that's everyone who died. Rest in peace, everyone. Really? That was it? Yeah. I mean, obviously not. That's it. There was some other people. Oh, but. you're just a little, okay. I was just I was gonna say because that seems like a, a pretty short list for a year. Because yeah. last year it seemed like everybody was dying. Yeah, I mean, last <laughs> time we did this, he had like women's rights and stuff. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Roe versus Wade. Yeah, it had a rough year as well. Yeah, it did. <laughs> what can you do? Vote. <laughs> That's true, and I did because it's definitely worked the past. <laughs> 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, look, the Supreme Court, they got we don't even, Jackson We don't on even there. vote for them. Yeah, that's but true. It doesn't matter. Um, Supreme. Pizza. Okay. <laughs> Weird. I like some Supreme pizza. Yeah. Right? It's not bad. I'm a pepperoni guy. Really? There's pepperonis in a Supreme pizza. I don't want all that other stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm picky. <laughs> you don't like all the vegetables? No. Nah, it's like jalapenos. I'll take Spicy some, veggies? I'll take some jalapenos. Yeah. Yeah. Are you... Okay, so what happened at Lucy's? Okay. Uh, so I did this show on Wednesday at Lucy's Shambles. Shout out to Jeff Stonic. Lucy's Shambles. That's a and hard provisions. one to say. And provisions. And provisions. Very cool Another place. Hard work. Lucy is short for Lucifer, so it's a Satan-themed place. It was pretty cool. Uh, but uh, real quick, shots Jeff Stonic. I did two shows that he's heavily involved in this week, uh, both memorable, uh, and v- both I'm very appreciative for. So, shout out to Jeff. He knows what he's doing, and he's doing it right. So, but uh, Lucy Shambles and Provisions, I was doing a set, and it was going fine. I was having a fine set. I was having fun, and uh, <laughs> I go into a joke about my my dad. Uh, my dad died on December sixteenth. Right. Oh man. That's my, it's my closer. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, as I say that, this guy goes, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's my mom's birthday. So, and then Whoa. me, like, I was getting ready. I was, I didn't know what to say. Like, yeah, that throws you I, off. And I'm trying enough. to get to my closer. So I just go, fuck your mom. <laughs> <laughs> but I said that. I said, fuck your mom. You want to say that about anybody who announces their birthday, honestly. Yeah, but I should have <laughs> waited for the rest of the sentence. <laughs> at the exact same time I said, fuck your mom, he said, she just died. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no. <laughs> and You guys said it at the same time? At the, I listened to the recording, dude, and it's almost like... Like you were finishing each other's sentences? Apart. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, well... <laughs> Well, my dad died too, so it's cool. Uh, Were you like, and fuck him too? Yeah, no, I should have. Like looking back, I, I, when I was listening to it, I was like, "There's so many better ways I could have gone about this." <laughs> <laughs> but then I ended my set. I was just like, "I'm truly sorry, dude," and it was fine. He didn't really. He was fine. Uh, but that's like the main thing. But then Quentin Johnson was also on the show. Oh man, <laughs> not. It's a lot of dead parents. Yeah, so he, then he went up and just did five minutes about his dead mom. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy probably had a bad night. But, um, it seems like appropriate, though, for, uh, you know, talking about dead people yeah. in a, a, a Lucifer Satan, lounge. I was going to say a Satan-themed right. yeah. bar and or dude, venue. <laughs> there's another dude who's very funny. Uh, he had a joke about, he had some jokes about Biden. And uh, one of them was that it must be hard waking up every day wondering why you're in Barack Obama's bed. <laughs> as soon as he said that, this whole table got up and left. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and it was man. like, it wasn't even that bad. It was pretty funny. But that was Lucy's, which is a fun show. It's such a cool room. It looks uh, cool. And then and I it's had, a free show, right? I don't know. For about people that. interested. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It is a free show. Shout out to Jeff Stonic and Dead Room Comedy. Yeah. But that was just Never mind the Bullocks? Pretty embarrassing. And dead and and it's dead room comedy. Dead room comedy, yeah. So, yeah. Then the then it's all on par talking about dead people. <laughs> Satan yeah, and yeah. dead room. Yeah. <laughs> it needs those to be people a story should have, those people show. should have been prepared. They should have. <laughs> and it was, it, overall it was fun. It was a fun set, but it was just like, oh I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> and then the next night, so yesterday I went to do Comic Sense in Boulder and uh which is also a fine show, a fun show. And then in between shows, because they have two, there's like this couple that was at the first show and they just stuck around and 
they were being super weird, like asking us all kinds of questions about where we're from. And this lady was just like, just probing, probing, super drunk. And this lady was like, I didn't even know that Pueblo was a real place. And I was like, <laughs> okay, like, I don't know what to tell you. They kept trying to get, Derek Rush. <laughs> I don't know what to tell yeah, you. They kept trying to get Derek Rush and I to drink with them and stuff. And we we're both like, we don't drink. And then they tried to get Jeff Stonic to drink with their weed. I don't drink. Like, Dude, there's so few comics that drink. But then, <laughs> it but is then they came, the, the, the guy comes over and he's like, she clearly fucked up. And I already got the vibe that they were like, you know, because it's Boulder. And I, they're, yeah. they're trying to get someone to fuck them. That's the vibe oh, I was getting. Oh, okay. Like big time. Like just they're, how like, they they're trying to find a, find a friend. So he, yeah, he walks over <laughs> and he's just by himself and he's like, my, this isn't funny, but my girlfriend got really mad at me yesterday. And me and Derek Rush are like, okay. And he's like, because I hate everybody. And we were like, oh my God. And then like she immediately like, reappeared. And then he was like, you guys want to dip out after this and do some lines with us? We like, <laughs> that no, sounds dude. like the worst time. <laughs> Go away. No, we don't. He just, and like, then, escalates. Yeah, so then the second show, they stayed for the second show. And so the second show, I, I just, just kind of riffed and stuff because there wasn't any people. And I was like, I'm pretty sure that couple in the back is trying to fuck all the comics. And, <laughs> like, she started laughing. And, like, Jeff said that the guy just left. So. <laughs> <laughs> So those are my experiences this week. He's like, God damn it, I still hate everybody. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Nobody will fuck us. Yeah. <laughs> no one will fuck my girlfriend and let me watch. <laughs> That's uh, got to suck. It was a weird vibe. <laughs> I didn't like it. Yeah. I wasn't appreciative. So I went to a show recently at like a kink, kinky place. Like the Danger. Yeah, the Danger Theater. The Naughty Show or whatever. And there was this girl uh, with a part of a couple. And she kept going in and out. Mm. And, uh, like, the first time she came through, she was like, I think I forgot my water bottle. And she's still topless this entire time because it's, like, a naked show. And where the audience is naked and everybody's naked. So awkward. So so awkward. I don't know that I could do a show (laughs) like that. She runs through and, like, in front of everybody, like, makes a big deal. And then she leaves. And then she's like... I think they have food here, and like she comes back, and then comes. She probably walks by like four or five times, and uh, the girl next to me was just like, "That's her just trying to get somebody to go back with them." Yeah, like she's on just like she's going back and forth, being like, "All right, well, she's I'm peacocking. leaving. I have, I'm sorry, I forgot something again. My bad. What's up, guys? Oh, well, I'm gonna head out, and it was crazy. And you never went back with her. Yeah. <sighs> I, I no no <laughs> no dude. She would have been. Her boyfriend was probably doing lines saying he hates the world or something. Probably dude. Probably it was probably people. the same people, dude. <laughs> They're just chuckle cuckers. Chuckle chuckle fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Dylan, uh, I did want to uh, real quickly. I wanted to give you some presents. Oh wow! I'm I don't you. have presents, dude. I I bought you presents. Oh, okay, fuck. All right. Um, Dan, will you hand him those things over there? <laughs> <laughs> I got you Christmas presents, dog. Well, well, I got you Christmas presents. Yeah, these are, thank you, Dan. these are from Dan and Santa Claus. Oh, man. <laughs> these are more presents than I got from my family. <laughs> oh, oh, there's one more. Sorry. <laughs> you hope it's not a razor. Yeah. <laughs> it's All a right. subscription for, um, hair, hair, hair. Is, someone told me today I should, should I open them now? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> Someone told me today I should shave my head completely bald. Really? Why? Yeah. Just lean in? Because it's happening, I guess. No. Yeah, but I you're a long ways well. away. You think so? I think so. All right. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You would know. I would know. <laughs> <laughs> a lighter, dude? Hell, I would love I would love to have your hair. Lighters, dude. <laughs> you do always need a lighter. I always need a lighter. It says something on it, I'm too. just going to oh. say right now, if one of them is the picture that Ali printed of me framed, dude, I'm going to freak out. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to read the lighter? Oh, There's a I, message on it. Is there a message on A little lighter? one. Yeah. yeah. How, how foolish of me. E dude. plus D. No, I'm Recreational kidding. outrage, dude, on the lighter. <laughs> Everyone knows it's mine. Yeah. Thanks, dude. I hate getting lighters to You used it. a fucking label maker to make that. Yeah. That's amazing. Put some, <laughs> some effort into that. Dude, I have three lighters now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of lighters for somebody that always needs a lighter. I know. Yeah, right? that breaks That's chairs. So, that, sounds like, that sounds like somebody that says <laughs> they need a, a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> they chair say they broken. need a lighter, so that way they can get a lighter, and then they just have all the lighters. <laughs> yeah. This is a book. I love to read. I know you do. 
George Carlin, dude. Oh, dude. Ooh. Brain droppings, dude. They are dude. just, they're like, nope, nope. If occurred after surviving a bloody battle with Saddam Hussein's army and a long, difficult escape through the mountains is crushed and killed by a parachute drop of humanitarian aid, that, my friend, is irony writ, writ large. All right. Context matters. <laughs> <laughs> did you watch his? Did you watch the documentary yeah, American Dream? So oh, good, probably dude. one of the best things that came out for comedy. It's very, it was really year. awesome. Yeah, it was super it was really well good. done. Yeah, and hearing that story about how he like uh, took acid and just completely smashed all those photos of himself, yeah. like all of his headshots, and yeah. he completely changed from that yep. moment onward from like a TV variety show comic. Yeah. To yep. George Carlin, yeah, dude. but he always had a little bit of him. Like even in Hippy Dippy Weatherman, like he's still oh, making yeah. weed references. Oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I love that shit. All right, dude. All right, this one I don't know how it. We'll see how it does, dude. If it's, it's a framed photo, <laughs> it's a framed photo. Oh, dude, what? <laughs> a vinyl Billy Strings? That's fucking dope, dude. Billy, Thank dude. You, dude. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's one of the coolest presents I've ever gotten. Hell yeah. Do you have a record player? No, but I'll put this on my wall, dude. Sick. That's sick. Hell yeah. Dude. Thank you. Get a record player. I should, huh? Yeah. All this right. is the first, re- the first is where it starts. <coughs> yeah, they're fun to listen to. Yeah, I yeah. bet you, especially since it's bluegrass, that'd be even, cool to hear. You get like a sm- even a small like record player. That's yeah. what I have, just a small one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's great. This is sick, dude. Thank you. I just, Merry uh, Christmas. I just learned Thanks. about this musician yesterday really strings <laughs> yeah it's so good dude yeah that's oh. what my that's what my friend chase was saying chase uh Tressler? yeah yep i love that guy yep yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's a good guy right there i know he is yeah. he's good people he's good people we were hanging out last night uh at a mixed open mic and okay i was giving him crap because he's a really good singer yeah and he can play guitar and oh, stuff really? oh yeah oh Damn. my god yeah double he's threat really good. he yeah, oh god yeah. <laughs> it's funny because I, I, I posted a picture of him last night playing guitar and yeah. singing. And I, I go, when the, a crowd doesn't like your comedy, I was like, pro tip, if the crowd doesn't like your comedy, pick up a guitar, guitar. and sing the bomb away. Yeah. <laughs> he's a good guy. I like but Yeah, he's good people. Yeah, he, yeah, because he's, he's a really good singer. Yeah. yeah. Really good singer. Yeah. I never yeah. heard him sing. But. And I didn't know that he could uh, play guitar until a couple weeks ago, too. Oh, so, wow. like, I knew he could sing because we, we go hit karaoke now and again. Yeah. And he always crushes at karaoke. Really? What um, is your what is your karaoke song? Mine? Yeah. <laughs> That's well, the question okay. we should write down, actually. Uh, yeah, so, so I, uh, I'm not, like, I'm, I'm a terrible singer. I'll be the first to admit it. I'm yeah. not not good at it but yeah. karaoke's fun to go you know well especially against yeah. chase well yeah i'm not com- i'm not going to compete with anybody that thinks they can <laughs> sing because they probably can yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and i know i can i'm aware i did so my go to uh is usually you know i'll do like uh like uh my main go to is green jelly three ba- uh <laughs> three little pigs wow that's the one i like to do the most <laughs> green jelly yeah fuck yeah dude <laughs> <laughs> you ever listen to Green I don't think I've ever heard that song. It's it's amazing because like a lot of times what happens is there's like a, a handful of people that it just hits that, that they're like, Oh my god, I can't <laughs> believe you know this song. Yeah. But most of the time people are like, What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> I only know them because they've played music songs or not songs, but concerts with uh St. Clown Posse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're, oh, hell yeah. So they were like a pretty obscure band from the nineties. Yeah, they were actually their their name was Green Jello, and then Jello sued them, and they had to change their name to Green Jelly. Yeah. <laughs> no shit. Yeah. yeah. Lawsuits. Yeah. yeah. Dude, fuck lawsuits, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's usually my go-to. Hell or I do yeah. like James Brown. And Ooh. Oh, that's all. Real I big can't fish. Be easy. Do you like that? Oh, really, Ska? Oh yeah, I'm a big Ska guy. No wow. shit. All yeah. right. You now you're talking my language, now. dude. Oh yeah, yeah. I love ska. Yeah. I've been I'm actually working up and downtown, I'm, uh, dude. I'm working on Scomedy Fest. <laughs> Scomedy Fest? Yeah. Oh I'm my gonna, god. I'm gonna do a ska and comedy festival. That's sick. Dude, that That's... sounds like the most fun. That's yeah. <laughs> Him and me and Fi Dance, dude. That'll yeah. Be your whole lineup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's uh, something that I I posted. Uh, I kind of made an announcement earlier this year, but then I went and bought the domain and That's got sick. the stuff. Yeah, that I'm is gonna follow through with. Is it, it going to be I like? I could see that being huge in Denver. Yeah, checkerboard font. Oh yeah, it's got to. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be like the the ska. The yeah, ska, yeah. <laughs> the ska guy, but with a mic. Yeah, up to it, like the op ivy, dude. That's so sick. 
I love that idea. I I saw like uh, Streetlight three times in one summer. Oh, nice. Yeah. No, I'm a huge um, fan of ska. I I think that like horns in general. I mean, that's mm-hmm. what got me into like that side of like funk and yep. EDM and all that kind of shit that includes like lettuce and all that. Um, Is lettuce ska? Yeah, no. No. <laughs> Real big fish signed my joke book. Hell yeah. And less than Jake. Nice I actually shit. stood in line to get their autographs at uh, Warp Tour f- several years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was, I was like, ah, I got time. Dude, I'll stand in line. And they were all really cool. They're yeah. such a uh, Warp Tour band. Too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Both bands. Both yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love seeing that. I loved Warp Tour in general. I did, too. Like, I, well, And I only went once, which was yeah. unfortunate because I went to the last one. Do you like, <laughs> so do you like punk music too? Yeah. So last time, I don't know if it was last podcast or two podcasts ago, but I asked you if uh, Rise Against was considered punk, and you like scoffed at me and never answered. So <laughs> is Rise Against punk? Well, they're Rise Against like Savior. Yeah. You remember that? Or uh, to me, I grouped like, them up. What's the song that they did? Swing well, Life that's, Away. Yeah, that's not See, that's really my punk. problem it's though. From like... punk, it's from Punk Meets Acoustic. I'm. Uh, <laughs> it's lame. I like the genre. The kids' bop of punk albums. Yeah, but I'm yeah. terrible at like knowing band names and who okay. sings yeah. what. Like uh, I love. I listen to it, but I don't pay attention to who sings what. I yeah. just like have put on like playlist on random, like on. Uh, Dude, <laughs> on like uh, Pandora or whatever it is. But it is so but nice. There's a few core bands, obviously, that I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, my my number one on uh, Spotify Wrapped. It was No Effects. And they oh, have nice. some kind of like ska kind of shit, but this year I, I went to uh, I went to uh, punk and no Club shit. I was there too, yeah. dude. How oh, cool yeah. was it? Oh man, it was fucking amazing. The Suicide Machines. Yeah, I was so glad. The Dwarves. So glad that uh, that I went. Yeah, yeah. It and was, it, it was rained so a fun. little bit yep. and kind of like cooled us off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually so a friend of mine owns a brewery in in Loveland. He owns the Big Beaver Brewing, and so that's a cool name, dude. Yeah. I mean, it's a great like a brewery. Primus reference or Big Beaver. No, it's it's a into window. I think it's a, think it's well, a pussy reference. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> well, Primus has the and Wino's all, got a big Brian yeah, Beaver. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and because all the uh, and all the beers, it's funny because all the beers, the names are like into windows too. Oh, nice. so it'll be like uh, Morningwood IPA or oh, yeah. you know uh, <laughs> Blue Balls. <Yeah>. Uh, <laughs> Blueberry wheat, that kind of stuff. So it's a, it's a great fun brewery. But anyway, because at that festival they had the beer tasting, so he had a booth there, and I volunteered to go pour for with him. No shit. And then I got tick free. I got a free ticket to the concert. So yeah. yeah. So it was great, dude. That's the move with festivals volunteering. I know a lot yep. of friends that'll do that, where they just get a wristband for the weekend, and then on the last day they just have to clean up or something like that. Yeah. We also did the the what was it the big concert or whatever or what is it called the big gig. The night before, it was at the same venue. Oh, so no I got shit. to go to two festivals in a row. Damn, <laughs> dude, that sounds the, like a then, good weekend. Yeah, just helping pour beer, Hell and yeah. it was great because the the beer festival part of it on both days was like in the afternoon, so it kind of overlapped a little bit with some of like the smaller opening bands, but not a not lot. the ones you really wanted to see. Exactly. That's cool. So, so you pretty much got to go to both concerts yeah. and see the whole thing. Like you didn't have yeah. to. You know, because the beer thing ended at like four in the afternoon. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. And then that's really when most of the most of the bands stuff was starting. On. Yep, yep, but dude, exactly. Like, Pacu, Pacu, Pacu. That's a band that like I used to listen to in high school. Pacu, Pacu, Pacu. Yeah. How do you spell that? Exactly like it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Pacu, Pacu, Pacu. <laughs> Um, yeah, my first, uh, like concert in that punk genre that like got me in love with a live punk show was the Dropkick Murphys Mm. and like that, like scene in the community that they like the love inside that pit. It was crazy. And that's what showed me how like with ska pits, like in the skank circles and shit, it's way friendlier. Then if you go to like a hardcore show, yeah, where people are just beating the shit out just of each other, punching each other, yeah. just straight up street fighting. <laughs> I have a friend that loves it too. He just puts himself in it, and it's like a, a rush. Really? Yeah, I've just, never like pits. No, no. One of my uh, uh, oldest friends, he uh, when we were in high school, his mom let we used to throw uh, punk shows in his garage. 
and they would like, you know, I say we, and I just mean I was there. Uh, It was more him and another friend that were really doing the show. Shout out to Chad and Ricky. They were the ones doing the work. Uh, but they would they would throw shows at his garage, yeah. And we would get like traveling punk bands, like when it they became doing, like, like a little gig. venue. It, well, it kind of did. And then some of the bands, uh, I don't remember who all came through, but I feel like a couple of them did end up getting a little bit bigger. Nice than just you know being a no name punk band, yeah. <laughs> playing in a in a garage in here on South Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that could be like a highlight of somebody's career. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, could have had I mean, a great time. Yeah. yeah. They were so much fun. So I love house fun. shows. Yeah. I do think they're a lot of fun because you're constantly like, S- people are going to sl- live here. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. There's like beer everywhere. Yeah. I went to a, a punk show once where people were literally on top of the rafters in a house, like hanging from them and jumping down. And oh, geez. It I've was chaos. Been to a house show. I went to a hospital afterwards. I drank so much that night. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like a house show, all right? Punk and Drublick, I also drank too much, and I had somebody else drive me home. Well, that's good. They had somebody else drive you home. I couldn't drink so much because I had to drive. But Yeah. Yeah. And parking down there is crazy. Well, that was another nice thing about volunteering. Oh, I got a parking shit, permit, so dude. I didn't have to worry about parking either. Damn, that's smooth. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it was uh, it was a great uh, great little setup for that. Right. <laughs> um, I do feel like uh, just uh, in honor of you being on, why if we in a circle went around and talked about our most recent bomb? All right. Ooh. Yeah, I definitely have mine ready. First, yeah. If you want, yeah, go for it. It was. I, mean, I did just tell a guy whose mom recently. Died. Yeah. <laughs> it's like goes. I don't know if I bombed at comedy, but I definitely bombed at being human. <laughs> yeah. I definitely bombed at being nice. <laughs> I bombed at having empathy. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, I had a joke. I did it. It was a bar late at night. And people were saying some wild things all night long. So yeah. I was like, "All right, I'll play along. I got some fun stuff." Yeah. And I, I talk- love that what you're about to say because I think I know what you're saying. And I love that this is your idea of wild, but go ahead. I know that's the thing is I didn't <laughs> yeah, even think it was that it's not crazy. Even crazy, but but yeah. I, so my, I opened with like uh, my opinion on Japanese men. Yeah, <laughs> which you is start like that. It sounds like it's gonna be crazy. Japanese men just as cute as the women. That's that's <laughs> that's not that bad. Yeah. No. And then I went into how I think that Indian men <clears throat> look very weird in basketball shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the, and I do think I might be the only one that believes this. Yeah. I don't, I don't but it turned the whole crowd against me. Because I was like, come on, guys. Have you ever seen how dorky they look? <laughs> they look so goofy. <laughs> and then I did have somebody come up to me who was Indian afterwards say, I don't wear basketball shorts because I was bullied my entire life for wearing them. Yeah. So maybe I'm validated. Yeah. It was just too real. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I was being hateful. <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> but that was my bomb. You brought up some PTSD from childhood yeah. bullying. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, typical like Floridian. Some emotional damage. <laughs> <laughs> I ruined, but no, he laughed a lot. He thought it was hilarious, and then he showed him fo- showed me photos of Indian guys in basketball shorts, and we laughed <laughs> together. Um, but then there was a guy who was his very first time. He went up, and he's like. Uh, he pointed me out and he's like, it's okay, man. Don't be embarrassed. And it was his very first time doing an open mic. And I was like, I'm not fucking embarrassed, dude. Fuck that. I thought it was funny. I still think it's funny. I don't care. (laughs) It didn't work. I do agree. I'm not a, whatever. I don't like that. that, Yeah. That really felt like. It's not good behavior. That. (laughs) For a first timer, dude. I know. Do that at my mic starting January 7th at. Howie's Ralston Lounge and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dan. You know, uh, I feel like every time I, I go to the Comedy Ford open mic, I yeah, bomb. <laughs> really? I don't know why. I uh, haven't been yet. but I, uh, I was there just the other couple weeks ago and I didn't feel good about my set. But uh, last night I didn't feel good about my set either. I did the mixed open mic. Uh, and I had a few people laughing. It wasn't like a total bomb, but like I felt rusty because I haven't been performing as much yeah. in the last couple of months. What do you think of mixed mics? I think they're great. Yeah. I think more comedians should do them, and I think they're cowards because they won't. 
Yeah. I like and, them too. And the reason I think that is because if you want to get good at being a comic, you need to be able to have that power with your material to draw people in and get their attention and then keep it. To entertain. And, and the best way to do that is to go to a place where it, that people are there for an open mic, but they're not expecting comedy. Right. So they're there. Because the thing with music, you can listen to music and not be vested, right? Like you can Dude, go listen to so a live crazy. Yeah, you can go listen to a live band, enjoy the live band, but still not be vested in li- the live band. If, right. You if can still be talking to your friends and hanging are out. Screaming, it's like good. Yeah, like exactly. If, if yeah. they're like woohoo, you know, that's like what you want. <laughs> yeah, exactly. For people to be reacting with comedy, they have to be vested. So and quiet. People that go to a mixed open mic as an audience, they're going there to listen to music and not pay attention yeah. and then as a comic you got to try to get their attention and that's how you can really tell if your material is going to be good or if you're onto something because if you're in a mixed open mic and you draw that crowd in and they're enjoying your set that's like it's a good indicator that that material is going to work really good in the long run yeah so for me personally i think mixed mics are great for testing material and and it's putting you in front of a different audience too totally like you're 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 reaching a different audience because even if there's not like a an audience or a crowd there's musicians there yeah. that are yeah. watching and the friends of musicians in the friends of musicians, musicians exactly bring, bring people yeah exactly so <laughs> so you're like yeah you you're you're getting in front of a new audience which is always good to test material you know because a lot of times especially at open mics for comedy there's usually never you know, there's very rarely is there an actual audience and it's just other comics yeah. who don't care what you're doing because they probably heard your set a million times, but yeah. also they don't care because they're thinking about what they're going to be doing. Right. They're yeah. worried about what they're going to say up there. Which so honestly not... is a relief. Well, like, yeah, absolutely. When I first realized that comics aren't actually paying attention. It kind of lifted some weight off your shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. I remember thinking like, oh, I can't tell this one. They've already heard it. Yeah. And it's like, oh, no, they, they don't, they're they not don't even paying remember. attention. <laughs> Do not give a fuck at all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. But that's what's great about like mixed mics, you know, that it's a different crowd and they're, yeah. they, they will pay attention. And I yeah. find them to be a little more supportive too because they are paying attention. And they're they, also they try to pay attention to each other. Yep. You know, like yep. they get it's it. very similar. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like mixed mics also because you can talk about music um, to a crowd easier than you can make fun of the last comic. Mm-hmm. Like, you can only do so many jokes about what the last comic looks like mm-hmm. oh, or, yeah, you know, yeah. what he talked about before. Yeah. It just seems like you're spending your whole set making fun of somebody. Mm-hmm. And, and if, I will say, last night in particular, which was I thought was great, is after somebody came up to me later and was like, one thing I liked about your set was that you seem more like the guy that's just in the kitchen telling jokes than yeah. an actual comic, yeah. which is a good, because that's a feeling, that's like... The what dude that we, crushes at a party or something Yeah, like but that. and that's how you should be on stage. It should be more conversational more and more personal than a scripted set of jokes. And yeah. so for that, somebody to see that in me, I'm like, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm working to what I need to be then. I'm on the right path. Because yeah. that's what I want to be. I don't want to seem that I'm just like totally scripted. I want it to be more yeah. conversational. There's a dude, Evan Joe, he says he never wants to say the word joke. And he doesn't want to act like he's making jokes. Yeah, but it is it. just him talking. Yeah. And that that's what's working. That's yeah, like a one-sided conversation. Right. Mm-hmm. Vocally. But I mean, really, it's a two-sided conversation because you say something, hopefully it's funny, the crowd reacts. So that's yeah. the that's their feed. F- yeah, and that's their 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 role in the conversation. Mm. Yes, yeah, shut up and laugh. Shut the fuck up, audience. And, uh, I, uh, and your mom to, can go fuck herself. Yeah, your mom. <laughs> I, hope, I hope she dies again. Um, <laughs> uh, I uh, I've been trying to work on like material about because I grew up Christian uh, as I feel like you did too. Oh, yeah. you went to church uh, church camp and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I've been trying to work on more material about that. And a lot of times I feel like like as soon as you say anything about being Christian, people immediately audit, like they don't even care about what the rest you have to say. Yeah, I, I agree with that because yeah. I've been doing trying to do some material about religion and Christianity yeah. and God, and yeah. I can always fill them tighten up as yeah. soon as I start talking immediately. About it. Yep. Yeah. So such a fine line between preaching. Not that I'm yeah, saying you yeah, guys yeah, are, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. once you start hearing somebody say a biblical reference, like yeah. you know when this thing happened to this person, and the, yeah. it's like fuck, I didn't, I don't. Yeah, but I don't even like I don't, I don't get into that like that. Like I talk yeah. about my experience, like going to Bible yeah. camp. Well, I've been what, trying to make a joke about. Sorry, I've been trying to make a joke yeah. about uh, 
Abraham and Isaac about how Abraham like had to sacrifice Isaac yep. and then God. And then like also he had this other kid, but that kid didn't count. So then sometimes I'll say, and that's how we got Arabs. And, and, people, <laughs> <laughs> and people, sometimes people really like that. And sometimes they're like, what did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> like what? Yeah. That's what my preacher told me. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that in Sunday school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, so you went to Bible camp. Yeah, I I, I was uh, raised um, uh, Baptist, yeah. like Southern Baptist. Oh, yeah. Wait, in, in the north? In the north. Yeah. Holy shit, where the holy water freezes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The holy water in a Baptist Man. church. You never hear say, about a northern say, Baptist. Have, have you, <laughs> they still call them Southern have Baptist. Been, have you been to a, a Baptist baptism in the wintertime? <laughs> <laughs> We call it ice fishing. Yeah. <laughs> you drop them in. Uh, yeah, but no, I yeah, I was raised uh, in a Baptist church, mm-hmm. Southern Calvary Baptist Church. Uh, which oh, is more, wow. But yeah. Yeah, so I get to go to Bible camp a lot and do things. So I do a lot of material about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And Dude, I love camp. Or not a lot. I shouldn't say I do a lot, but I've been trying to do more. Was it? Because I've been like trying a... to do more material, too, about like, like how I – view religion and spirituality and stuff too like i i don't know i to me it's really funny i i have this uh thing about how you know they say that jesus or god or whoever whatever they're like oh he's like your best friend he's always there he's always watching and i have a joke where i'm like that sounds like a friend that needs boundaries yeah you know, <laughs> maybe even a restraining order yeah, that's funny. <laughs> but then i was also working on another bit where i'm talking about how you know like as a kid, you believe in Santa Claus. You get to believe in the, the Easter Bunny or whatever. And then at a certain age, adults tell you, no, 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 those are all fake. They're not real. You can't believe in them. But you know who you should believe in is God. Yeah. <laughs> and then my reaction to that is, wait, you want me to believe in the guy that had his only son murdered? Yeah. <laughs> Santa it's like, didn't do it's like, like Santa Claus brings gifts to everybody. The <laughs> Easter Bunny hides Easter baskets. God had his son murdered, and that's who I should be trust? <laughs> yeah, he had, I mean, and a portion of himself. Like, he yeah. went out and just... And that, but anytime I get into that, like I can feel that crowd just like tighten yeah. up. Yeah, you know what I I've recently started. So there's the whole theory that uh, you know maybe God is the Big Bang and all those kinds of things started with God when He made the ultimate decision uh, to start everything, and His big uh, thing that changed everything was when He decided to give humans free will. Right, that was mm-hmm. like the big uh, decision. That that changed uh, the way the whole world in the universe worked because he's perfect because he can't make decisions he can't fail he's perfect and all that shit almost giving people freedom is the ultimate like godliness so like when he did that he fractured himself and then all these fractals are all the different pieces of God all throughout we can find different spirituality through all different kinds of things. It's all different fractures. Uh, like that's where all the religions came from and stuff. And then that's why when we're on drugs, mm-hmm. like high psychedelics, when you think that you're communicating with God, seeing God and all that stuff, it's all fractals. Mm-hmm. And you start seeing the shapes and the patterns and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I never heard that. I know. I mean, I, it I can, is. I've never heard that. No, I, I can just feel the. I also grew up Baptist, and I can just feel the Baptist inside of me screaming. It <laughs> 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 got a tricky one. That is. That's a good. That I like that. I just like it. Kind of. <laughs> I thought that I've always wondered if because uh, there's like fallen angels in the Bible and stuff like maybe that's where all the different gods came from. How why know, did they yeah. fall? Because they what? Why did they fall? They like trip? Pride? <laughs> yeah, they tripped over. They there. tripped. They tripped, they tripped, on, a, they they tripped, tripped on a cloud. Yeah. <laughs> they tripped over Satan's tail. <laughs> there's belief the though that that you know <laughs> what Christians view as God is really a demon. Yeah. That, that's why there's, like, when you look at Christianity now, there's so much, like, toxic yeah. stuff with Christianity. Like, the Bible and God basically says, love everybody, but Christians run around hating everybody. Yeah. And it's because their God is really a devil, and he's tricked them into believing Damn. that he's God. So yeah. they're not going to heaven. They're all going to hell. 
Have you heard this whole, like, th- uh, you know, like the succubus? It's a wild theory. Uh, the succubus uh, changed its energy into just internet porn. <laughs> Whoa. And that's why, like, when you jerk off, you, like, feel drained. Yeah. Like, feel emotionally <laughs> drenched and tired and disappointed. Yeah. Like, yeah. you literally got your energy taken just like the succubus does. Yeah. Maybe that's where the whole idea of a succubus came from. The internet? <laughs> yeah, <the internet. laughs> no, some guy jacking off to cave paintings. They didn't like people jerking off. There used to be like cages for your dicks that like stopped you from touching it and stuff like that. Because seed, you're talking about like seed is so. So sacred. you're telling me that uh, when Lonely Island did dick in a box, they <laughs> fucking hacked that yeah. premise. Yeah, yeah it is from medieval hacks. Victorian. <laughs> wow, dick that devices. wasn't. Goddamn, nothing's original anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Shakespeare had the cock ring. You don't yeah, remember that one? Yeah, he did, dude. <laughs> the midsummer cock ring. That's how he stayed awake. <laughs> yeah, they they really didn't they didn't want spe- seed to be spilled. That makes sense, I guess. So it yeah. was like sacred, and they yeah. made devices that made you like you know, like, not even be able to touch yourself. <sighs> Humanity as a whole is weird. Yeah, yeah. we're <laughs> fucked up. Some of the shit. Yeah, I, yeah, we really are. Yeah, like weird and fucked up and. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Even the fact that we jerk off, it feels gross. That is gross. I mean, it does. The fact that we just like rub something really fast and then go, ah! So liquid comes out of it. Yeah, and then you feel better. I mean, or worse. So you feel you feel better for like thirty seconds, and you're like, <laughs> depends oh, man. on it depends on how much gr- guilt you have from your Christianity, yeah, Christian exactly. upbringing. <laughs> yeah, just immediately start praying, please. Me. I promise this is the last time. Please let my show sell out. <laughs> that's, uh, that, that's, that sounds like a Pete Holmes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just because, because that's the thing with Pete Holmes too. Yeah. Like he was a very religious person. He was raised very religious, and yeah. and he has he talks about like having thoughts like that growing up where yeah. like he felt really guilty about it because of that, yeah. that pressure, that Christian pressure and stuff easily. Yeah. It's real. It's a real gro- uh, cross to bear. It's a real cross to bear. <laughs> <laughs> I dressed up as Jesus recently. I saw a picture of that. Yeah, yeah. I was told I have to do it every time now. Every Christmas. No, just every roast battle. They want me to dress oh, up as Jesus. That's too much. I know. I thought so too, but I have another crusader outfit, mm. you know, and there, it's funny that both of my outfits for this show have been full body <laughs> LARPing outfits, practically. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you could LARP as Jesus. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You look like that, you can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People are like, why is he here? And it's like, well, come on. He's everywhere. True meaning of Christmas. <laughs> 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 you can be a stranger on a bus, dude. <laughs> he is, dude. <laughs> Um, oh my gosh, Dan! So, how do you like Loveland compared to Minnesota? I like it. Yeah. I like it. I like Colorado a lot because it's you know, especially this time of year, uh, the the weather reminds up there, you of home with all the snow everywhere. Yeah, but it also <laughs> goes away, and I'm not a fan of snow. Yeah, yeah. I've been thinking I needed. I should have moved further south. <laughs> <laughs> this year's, this year's been way worse than last year. Yeah, I know. I yeah. was here for because we moved down to Colorado in January. So, okay. Oh, yeah. So I got part of the winter, but it was very mild yeah. compared to what I'm used to. Damn, I should have had that on the list. January. What day did you move here? <laughs> uh, I think I got here like the 24th or 25th, something like that. I'll write it down. Yeah. Restart the show. Yeah, <laughs> from the top. From the yeah. top. We're gonna have to do over. Do over. Yeah. The biggest news of 2022: yeah. comedian Dan Bublitz Jr. moves to Colorado. Yeah, January 25th. The day the world changed. <laughs> Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Well, dude, do you want to uh, do plugs? Yeah, let's do Can we plugs. wrap this bad boy up like yeah, a yeah. present? Like a Christmas present from Jesus. <laughs> Did you get it? You said you didn't get much else. I mean, I guess. Um, no, not really. I, I got, I got, I got. The kiddos can't really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. What do they do? I got stuff from around the house. I got those tile things because apparently I lose a lot of stuff. So my mom got me those tiles that you put, you attach to things and it'll track it. Oh, I got you. But okay. I haven't set them up yet. So uh, I know a dude who uh, did that to like one of those his air tags. Yeah, ATVs. Wow, because this shit was getting stolen a lot. Yeah, that's so a he, good like, idea. Tagged his stuff, but it only goes up to like three hundred meters. So. <laughs> <laughs> meters? Know. It measures in meters? Yeah, that's weird. 
Whatever, dude. <laughs> Isn't that metric? I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> is Pueblo even a place? Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm starting to wonder. I just think it's so funny. Do you that live that... in down in Pueblo? I was Pueblo? born down there. Oh, okay. But you don't live there now. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I was like, wow, <laughs> you came all the way up from there? Wow. Yeah, no, 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 no. That'd be crazy. <laughs> Pueblo's crazy. Have you ever been to Pueblo? I've been through. Yeah, That's yeah. it. It's yeah. not it's it's on my way to New Mexico. It's not the best of towns. You know, this day in history, we acquired New Mexico. We? Mm hmm. The wow. United States. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Yeah. I read that. Why wasn't that on the. Why wasn't there uh, there uh, this day in history? I think there was. I, know, <laughs> I do it. have it pulled up. Yeah. <laughs> December 30th, this day in history. Yeah, dude. Oh, oh really? You do? Oh, yeah. yeah. You were, oh, okay. I pay attention to these things. All right. Yeah. Cool. I like to know. Oh, good to know. For some reason. Why did we name it New Mexico and not some else? Did they sell it? Let's find out. Yeah. It was called the Gadsden Purchase. Yeah. U.S. signs the first draft of the Treaty to Buy. Why don't we call it Gadsden? Uh, the territory that is now present-day New Mexico and southern Arizona from Mexico and formed part of the border between Mexico and the U.S. It went into effect in the following June, and the U.S. wanted to build a transcontinental railroad along a deep southern route. Wow. Yeah, that was completed in 1883. It all leads back to trains. <laughs> It trains, always does. Planes and automobiles. <laughs> Dude, one of the best Thanksgiving movies. Oh, absolutely. It's a classic. I w Laura watched so it for good. the first time this year. I don't think I've ever watched it. Really? Yeah. Wow. I don't think you should so. watch it. It's right. a good movie. I will. It's so good. And That's also great. watching back, it is pretty hilarious. Like it is. The types of jokes that they would yep. make back then and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. How f Steve Martin's being the straight guy in this one, so he's not silly, but him... Being yeah. pissed off is yeah yeah oh best. yeah it's a great it's great yeah uh what else happened today real quick um, <laughs> we're gonna wrap this up oh yeah. wait he just reminded me of another segment <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the f founding of the Soviet Union oh wow thank God <laughs> someone to check America <laughs> <laughs> um we had the deadliest fire in Chicago oh. John Candy's characters from there. In playing strains and armor mm -hmm. games? Mm -hmm. Was he trying to escape the fire? <laughs> <laughs> they were both from there. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Is that a John Hughes film? I think so. You know, but it's, I guess uh, all John Hughes films are in Chicago. A lot of, yeah. yeah. Someone just pointed that out to Yeah. Me. Wow. But then uh, John Candy started kind of i mean he started in canada with sctv or whatever but then i think he was i think he was one of the the second city people in chicago john candy yeah. so funny yeah his smile um uh saddam was executed oh i know that's why i really didn't do this is it wasn't that fun of a, a day of, in history. okay well that that's my bad I <laughs> no I you're all right I, <laughs> I mean the best part I'm, was that we got new mexico okay <laughs> oh this one's kind of cool uh, Hideki Tojo, uh, the Japanese prime minister during World War II, shortly after becoming prime minister of Japan, he called for the attack of Pearl Harbor. That after is cool. <laughs> 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 he had, I mean, he could have been on bombing. <laughs> That was so funny because he literally took the word. You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just like, yeah, you're right. That was cool. <laughs> so after the war, he and six others were hanged together as war criminals. But while incarcerated, he received a new set of dentures made by an American dentist with the phrase, remember Pearl Harbor, secretly inscribed using Morse code. That's fucking sick. Yeah. Wait, they, those are like the dots? Yeah. That's crazy. In his wow. teeth. That's revenge. Wow. <laughs> yeah, God is ass with a grill, dude. That's crazy. Good Damn. for him. I thought that was, I mean, that's kind of cool. That is. Well, cool. it had a better ending. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, just, it, it didn't start, it start out so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Today's the day they planned Pearl Harbor. <laughs> we were both like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this guy <laughs> ordered Pearl Harbor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um and tiger woods was born oh wow. the goat yeah dude probably the greatest yeah he has been number one golfer in the most consecutive weeks for any the greatest total number of weeks of any golfer 
what an accomplishment. Yeah. I get it. Right. Why he, you know, went to Denny's. You get why he fucked all those women? Yeah. Yeah. Why well, I mean, golfers? Who doesn't want to sleep with a golfer? Yeah. They got cool clothes. <laughs> they got nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> they're crushing the back nine. Yeah. <laughs> they use they're, all good the at, they're good at those hole in ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. Well, we did it. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, some plug music. Yeah, get the plug music going, dude. I like it. I use the same one every time, but yeah. I think it works. Shh, it works, dude. <laughs> Damn it, but commercials. Uh, you could play my beats off of SoundCloud. I should. I'll do that next time. Yeah. Plugs. Plugs. I'll plug first. No, Dan, you plug first. Plug, plug, yeah. plug. Uh, yeah, you can listen to my podcast, <clears throat> The Art of Bombing, uh, wherever you listen to podcasts. It's on all the podcast platforms. Uh, you can find my album streaming everywhere you stream music, Strangers in My Basement, uh, or you can go to my website and buy it. That's better for me yeah. than streaming it because <laughs> yeah. I get like a penny, if that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and then I'm on social media, D Bublitz Comedy, everywhere. And then uh, my website, Dan Bublitz Com- or Yeah, Dan Bublitz Oh, yeah. Strangers yeah. in the Basement. A, that's a it, cool title. It is. No matter it sounds what, like a Frank Zappa that's album. That's a dope album title. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. That was. Put a lot of put a lot of effort into that. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Well, um, I did want to say that next month, during uh, uh, the twenty eighth, January twenty eighth, is going to be Miss Info's very first live show. Okay. So Miss Info Marshalls. Yeah. We're doing our very first live show. Hell yeah. At Chaos Bloom. Nice. Very excited. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. So we're gonna take problems from the crowd, and yeah. we're gonna help. We're going to help those people. Uh, fuck yeah. So it's going to be exciting. I'm stoked. Hell yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, just Slaughterhouse Studios, YouTube, yep. Spotify. Yep. Recreational Outrage has its own. I mean, if you're listening to this, you probably know that already. Yeah. Um, we our own Spotify page now. Yeah. But give it uh, five stars. Yeah, give it five stars, please. Because I think I might be the only one that has. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I could be wrong. It's got five stars, but yeah. it just might be for me. I think I might have done it. Oh, yeah, that's it's, sweet. It's I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you got anything else to plug? Uh, no, just love each other. Love each other. Yeah. All right. Make love. Yeah, make love, not war. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> draft, uh, draft beer, not me. Draft beer, not me. Unless it's for the NBA. <laughs> dude, yeah. you could be a nugget. <laughs> I could be a nugget, dude. The Nuggets are currently winning, thank God, because if they lost to the Miami Heat, I would commit a hit and run tonight, just like Dan did. (laughs) Anyway. Anyway, uh, (laughs) Recreational Outrage, follow us on Instagram, please. Follow us on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, uh, under Slaughterhouse Studios. We're coming to all platforms, slowly but surely. Uh, Cloudy Eyed Comedy, January 14th. Uh, I got um, Nick Dean headlining some other really great comics. January twenty eighth, I got Brant Tobler headlining. Yeah, but that's when the misinfo show is. Sorry, January twenty eighth. <laughs> 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 I got Brant Tobler headlining. And I don't it's think Brant Tobler is gonna be a chaos. It's movie. on the opposite side of town, <laughs> and uh, you can smoke weed there. So <laughs> damn it, <laughs> uh, Claudia had comedy. Let's see what else do I got? There's something else I wanted to say. But I don't remember. Oh, comics and not comics. New open mic starting January 7th next week, next Saturday. Miller's in Rossi? Arvada. No, I don't have Miller's. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, I haven't talked to them. Anyway. This is uh, in Arvada. This is in Arvada. The, Howie's, your old stomping grounds. Yeah, where I grew up. But Howie's Ralston Lounge is off of 64th and Ward. Let's, we have a Saturday mic, so come out, do your set. You know what I mean? If you have a show, I'll get you up before your show, whatever. I don't care. Some people will go last. <laughs> but please come. I want everyone to come. So uh, Howie's Ralston Lounge starting January 7th. Sign up will be at 830. Nice. You know what I wanted to say? What did you want to say? Absol. Absol. You listen to it? That was a good album. Hell dude. yeah, dude. Yeah, it got me grooving. Fuck yeah. Like it's very like uh, deep. Yeah. That was tight. Yeah. I did enjoy it quite a bit. Good. So thank you. Thank Any you. other song recs? Well, we're doing plugs. Okay. We can do song recs next week. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Hell yeah. Cloudy Eyed Comedy, Recreational Outrage. 
this is it. Thank you, guys. Yeah, that was fun. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, thanks for having me. This yeah. was a good time. Hell yeah, it was. It was good. Yeah, I hope someday you get to see me bomb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite thing to watch a comic bomb. I love it. Hell yeah. Thank you again, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. Have a, a good pleasure. night, guys. Recreational outrage. Goodbye.